see who all comes in here real quick. Oh, let's see. I need a place to set you guys. I got an idea. Huh. Actually works really well. Ah. Ooh, it makes it a little back heavy though. Using my DX9 to hold that. All right, where? Hey, what's up, Scott? Dude, what's up with iRacing lately? I'm only getting, like, for ex perfectly clean races, I'm only getting 0 .02 on my safety rating. The hell is up with that? It used to, you know, at least be pretty good. Dude, what do you mean, dude? Uh, syndicate this has absolutely nothing in any way shape or form to do with the uh, uh, goblin yeah holy crap there's like 13 of you guys watching right now no I'm waiting on tungsten to get in here and I'm trying to open up my uh, open up my computer so that I can see appreciate the thumbs up hey looky there there's tungsten hey what's up fireman good lord all of you guys are here today all right, I'm trying to get my thing open because the chat on the phone, which is what I'm recording this on, uh, because, well, the box. I mean, the box is freaking huge, man. Uh, the chat on the phone, it only stays up there for like five seconds, so I am likely to miss something. Let me go into here, and it should say live now, and then go into here. Hey, Russell. What's going on, man? Greetings from Australia. Oh, man. Holy crap. Greetings. Shh. Hush. So now I can see the chat. It's not going to go away, and I can actually answer everybody's questions. So, man, there's 15 of you guys watching. In what series? How are your. Oh, it's in the uh, sprint series, Dirt. Uh, right now, I'm kind of concentrating on 305. Uh, I've got to get out of the uh, D class and get into C class because I want to start running some fixed, uh, fixed races. So. Unboxing the box is double the fun. Yeah, well, this is a box with a box inside it, so triple the fun, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, what's the weather like down there, offbeat? You guys are probably starting to get a little cold down there. Uh, let's see, hanging in there. That's that's all, all you can do, right there. Let's see, I'm excited. Uh, what's inside? Well, Syndicate, I don't know if, if you'll actually enjoy it, so yeah. All right, now that I've got the chat open, I can go ahead and grab you guys without dropping my radio. I had you guys sitting on my DX9, so in fact, I'll show you. Getting cold. I had you guys sitting right there. Yeah. And pay no attention to the desk. Uh, I've got a new camera. No, that's my SJ cam. I got this camera right here. I've been playing with it as a webcam, as you can see. See, now it's like looking at me and stuff, and yeah. So the camera's looking at the computer that's connected to a thing that's looking at me. You're killing me smalls. So, and the delay is like, so I got that and then go, huh? Yeah, the delay is absolutely horrendous, but right there's the name of it in case anybody was wondering. So that video uh, will be coming soon. Excellent, we got three. Nice table, nice screens, nice PC, nice workshop. This is actually my office, dude. Uh, yeah. That's my computer. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before. Um, so yeah, I'll get to the... Uh, what do you mean I'm killing you? What do you mean by that? And not really a nice table. This is a, a desk that's like almost older than dirt. All right, um, holy crap, I don't have an, where is my knife? I need a knife, I really, like, seriously need a knife. I am never without a knife. Now I'm kind of having a, an anxiety attack because I don't have a knife. Nah, yeah, I guess this knife will do. This isn't my usual knife. I don't know where my knife is. Huh, okay. Let's see. You were told there was gonna be a box. Well, I mean, you're kind of a square. Does that count? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, guys. <laughs> you 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. The uh, helicopters? Yeah. <laughs> They're a hat rack, except for the goblin. And I do think I'm going to take the skids off. Hey, 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 don't go away. Oh, crap. I don't know what I just did. What are you saying, Scott? What do you mean Scott Allen was timed out by RC help for 300 seconds? I got a 2X in one of them and it was the same as a perfectly clean race. And a 2X is basically running into a car uh, in asphalt series, it would be a 4X. So, uh, you love the place I'm sitting in. Really? Really? Yeah? Okay. Uh, I need to say you go. I'm trying to figure out what, what it just did to Scott. So, Scott, whatever it did, I did not. I didn't do it. Something, it did it like by its. Oh, oh. crap I tried to bring your message back up on my phone and I think I, I actually I think I put you in like timeout <laughs> crap I'm sorry dude uh, it was not intentional it was not intentional helis on the wall yeah buddy you ought to see the. You ought to see what's in the studio. There's like planes galore out there. Uh, oh, and that camera. Uh, here's another little tidbit of news. Um, it does 1080p, 30 frames a second, which isn't bad. Uh, we really appreciate you doing these vids, especially. Well, I'm seeing that more and more people are liking these live videos, so I'm trying to do them more often. And yeah. Uh, Anyway, that camera that I'm fixing to do a review on, it will not accept a 64 gigabyte card. So, there's that. I try putting a 64 in there, it'll show it's recording, but it won't save it. It can't read the EXFAT format. So, all right guys, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna hold this phone and do this. I can't turn the box over because it has, I don't care about showing my address. You guys can send me whatever you want, uh, but it has, tungsten's address on it as well as the uh uh how much he had to pay to get this sucker to me and holy crap dude all right okay okay i gotta hold it with one hand slide it with the other my cat's having a conniption because i moved her chair for her to get up on my bed because she is like ridiculously old all right i think that's all I'm going to need it for. It's fine. You don't care. No, I'm not going to put your, uh, I'm not going to put your address out there, bro. Um, damn it. It's upside down. I'm going to have to take it out upside down because I'm not showing. Uh, I don't know if you guys are saying anything else. Scott, hopefully you didn't get too pissed. And yeah, there's a ceiling fan. Look at my ceiling. I've had my windows open like all year. So, <laughs> there's a lot of dust. I really need a dust in here. Oh, helicopters. Holy crap. Ah. Tungsten, you, yes. Tungsten sent it to me. I look like a heli. Well, okay, there's the box that was in the box. Okay, okay, okay. We'll switch that back. Now, I'm gonna get the big box off. All it's got in it now is foam from what it looks like. And by the way, this is a six foot table. That's all that's left. Yeah, there's my hand for comparison. Whatever. All right. Let's uh, flip this over without giving away what's in it just yet. This is something that I haven't really done in a long time. I think the first year I had RC help, I did this. Y'all ready for this, huh? Y'all ready? 
Already? It's old. It's very old. He sent me an old dilapidated airplane. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Hey, fireman got it right, right there. Right on. So let's go ahead and crank it open. It does have a couple extra things in it uh, besides the airplane. He did say that the mice got to the airplane. All right, we got bubble wrap. You know I got to. All right, put that over there. Put that over there. And this is just to get tungsten off my back. I don't know when I'm gonna get the table to actually build it because I can't build it on this uh, plastic table. I, I can't do it. It's not level. Ooh, look at that. See all that crap? That's not a good sign. All right, more bubble wrap. I don't think there's anything in the bubble wrap. Tungsten, is there anything in the bubble wrap? Hey, Jared, those are party poppers. No, those are a good way to scare the living crap out of your Doberman or put it outside your child's room. Uh, so when they get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, it's like really hilarious. Right. Nothing in there. Look at the size of those wheels, man. There's like four or five inch wheels. Uh, four inch. See right there. Woohoo! I got blades for my SCV too. Now I just need all the other freaking parts. All right, I'm guessing there's two rolled up deals in here. What nice tungsten. We are top donors. <laughs> tungsten, like I said, he sent me an old dilapidated model. It's all clapped out and uh, it's got damage. Um. All right, so let's take and pull the helicopter stuff out because he did send me helicopter stuff. Uh, here's another pair of those blades. And it looks like this bag may have been chewed by a mouse. And those go with that. It's hard, man, guys, it's hard doing this on a phone. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at, look at. Uh, no. I could probably do the little angels, but I can't do the tiger. Uh, no. Shark's teeth. Hell yeah. I like that cockpit. Look at that cockpit. Dude, that is awesome. Come on, thumbs up for the cockpit. All right, let's get the decals out of the way. Those look like top and bottom wing decals. And this is a P-40 Warhawk. Uh, for anybody that was wondering, uh, what the hell is this? Ooh, he even sent some Ultra Coat. I don't know if this is the right color. It looks like a beige. Hangar 9. Um, it doesn't tell me exactly what color this is, because I'll bet you it's faded. So we'll set that over there. What's in here? Thompson, what's in here? This has never been opened. Oh, wait. Yeah, it has. Okay, so we're, we're trying to open it. Pay no attention to my desk, guys. I have so many projects. So, so many projects. What is this? Man, okay. Took the plug off the end. That looks like gray. Uh, what are you going to send me? Ultra coat and then have monocoat in here. What's up with that? Phil's Hobby Shop. So if anybody wants to call Phil's Hobby Shop. Okay, they're still running the big cars down there. All right, flat olive drab. That is a correct color, so bonus points for that. Am I getting any flack from uh, tungsten yet? Because <laughs> I'm talking a lot of crap. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm not thankful at all. There's your parts list of all the pieces of wood that are in this freaking thing. And there's a lot of wood in here. And what the wheels are sitting in is actually the P40 canopy. Dude, that's rocking right there. All right, we got to take out all these, all this crap to find out what else is in here. Let's see, what is this? That looks like the engine mount. Uh, this stuff right here is going to be your hinges. There you go, Scott. Again, I apologize, man. I didn't do it on purpose. But I'm pretty sure myself and everybody else thought that was uh, funny as hell. Check that out. Check it out. Check it out. 
Yeah, servoless retracts. And these are 90 degree rotating. Dude, I am so freaking jacking these and putting them in my F4U. Uh, just so you know. There is just balsa in here galore. Wait, what did you just say? Vintage Circa who? I gotta go all the way around my desk. 1984? I thought it was like 74 or something. Nothing important is damaged. Awesome, awesome. How old? Uh, he answered that. And then, of course, Scott. Hurry up. This is what sucks about doing it with a phone. I'm paying attention to one thing and people are posting up comments and I don't see them on here because they only last for five seconds. Wow, this is like multiple sheets. I'm guessing this is gonna be for sheeting either the uh, wing or the fuselage. How many guys, how many of you guys on here and gals, I, I say guys, you know, I'm covering everybody. How many people on here uh, have ever built a balsa plane that looks like a pretty important please, uh, piece. Hey, Jared. Well, I appreciate you coming in, man. Retractable gear for the troll. No, I think the troll is going to get the uh, dolphin fins. Yeah, mouse got a hold of that one. Focus, you blur bag. There it goes. Whatever. It's all stuff that is pretty easy to replace or to fill in uh, the stuff that it will except for that one so I'm probably gonna have to get me some that looks like about half inch uh, that'll probably be about a ten dollar piece of wood and then here's some more uh, some uh, helicopter stuff looks like it's got an ESC that looks like a 40 amp yep yep penny and 40 so yeah, I greatly appreciate that. Got another motor. Motor I didn't need. Uh, servos. What are these servos? They have like no labels. Let's see. Ah, turnages. Okay. Cool. So yeah, more helicopter stuff. And what's in this? Oh, vape gear. Awesome. He even sent me a rig. This plane is going to be an awesome series. It's going to be a very long series, I can tell you guys that. So, yeah, that's just some canthal, some cotton, and a uh, rig to build coils. He had said that he was going to send that. All right, uh, tungsten. Put a powerful motor in it. It's not going to get a motor if it gets that far. Well, that's not very good, Casey. But I know what you mean. I, I do know what you mean. The, the frustration on these things is like just m absolute max level. Uh, especially when things don't go right. So, where is the other retract? I know there, there should be two. There it is. There it is. Look at there. There it is. Okay. We got two retracts. Uh, Tungsten, what was it that you were wondering if I had it in here? Because uh, right now I've got the parts list and I've got two rolled what I'm guessing is just manuals And I really don't want to unroll those because they are way bigger than what I have as far as table space goes so Put the retracts over there put these over there but Yeah, let me know what you were wanting me to check on Because I do not remember that looks like a whole bunch of carbon spars down in there Nope, those are guides for these wires right here. Hey, Darren. All right, this right here is what it is. And it also had uh, some helicopter stuff and some vape stuff, uh, stuff like that. The build book would be on the bottom. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Let me, uh, I've got freaking wing ribs trying to come out. This is going to be a nightmare. Well, 
Tungsten. Whoa. There is no book. This is just uh, thin sheeting material. There is no book. There is a straw, so there's that. Man, look at these cuts. This is back before they had lasers. <laughs> Took it to a friend for a proper send-off. Holy crap, look at the size of that firewall. What was, uh... What was the wingspan on this, uh, Carter? 60? Yep, start looking. Because it's not in here, man. There is no build book. All I see is those two rolled up plans and they were on top. Alright, let's see. Airplane stuff goes in airplane box. And I'm going to keep the helicopter stuff out. Cockpit decal, yeah. Yeah, that right there is what goes on the nose. So, I mean, yeah. And there's that, you know, compared to my hand. Okay, I couldn't read all of that last message that was just sent. I tried to read it and I didn't even see who it was from. But I'm fixing to go over to the, uh, over to my desk. So, guys, that's it. Uh, P-40 Warhawk, uh, top flight gold edition, circa way before laser cutters. There's the model number for anybody that was wondering. Uh, looks like yeah, Henry Paul King Ida 84-40. Cool. Send me more helicopter stuff. I need a lot more. And this is what's on the uh, other side. What was that? I got an F4U Corsair 8 scale top flight to build. What size? What's the wingspan on it, man? I'm curious. But at least I got blades now. Uh, my... What did I do with it? It was underneath this table. Right there is what's left of the SEV2. And this right here is why I need blades. I didn't even see that tungsten. So yeah, tungsten's helping out a lot, even on that uh, on that helicopter. Oh, of course, my uh, computer decided to shut the screens off. And I'm thirsty. I'm really thirsty. And I got balsa wood all over me. All right, so, switch you guys around. Whatever you do. 62 yeah uh mine i've got a i think it's right at a 62 um i've got right at a 62 inch f4u corsair uh fiberglass fuse all right all right let me let me go through these uh chats real quick what's the audio quality like guys uh i don't know what the audio quality like i can see the video and the video is absolutely horrendous um, let's see, kill the balsa, so, SOP, okay, I'm getting to that, uh, the build book, okay, yeah, there wasn't, like I said, there wasn't a build book on the bottom, uh, the only thing resembling a book was the, uh, parts count, hey, Yuri, where in the hell have you been? uh yeah casey that's uh that's unfortunate man that's really unfortunate uh sarah evans your build guide is as good as my robin tiger manual their swatch plate setup is 
way other figures just saying you might be able to suss out with the plan what do you mean Sarah uh, what what do you mean by that I'm just I'm just trying to get clarification uh, that way I'm not saying you know something completely off topic which I usually do uh, but yeah I'm reading another one of Casey's that's really unfortunate Balsa planes are best in dog fights. I don't know about that. They kind of disintegrate into very weak toothpicks. 62 inch. Uh, that's not the model number. Oh, it's not? Okay. I guess that's just, yeah, some random number somebody put on there. You have a Yak 72 inch with a 33cc. The biggest plane I have is my Decathlon, and it has a 68 inch wing with a four stroke 120. I think is what it has. I've only done powered models, Casey, because we we have thermals here, but we don't have thermals like like we need for like uh, glider flying. Um, of course, you could do the gliders that you just like sling up and see how long you can stay in the air and whatnot. But yeah. The Warhawk is 64 inch. Okay, so that, that right there is a 64 inch wing, which is a big ass plane. Um, but yeah, all I've done is uh, uh, powered models, Casey. <laughs> it's not you uh, built balsas before, it's you're building, unless you've already completed them. Have you already doped them up? Niagara Falls, excellent. Audio seems like usual. No kidding, because the audio is being captured on an iPhone like a crap iPhone. It's a 6S Plus, but it's still a crap iPhone. Okay, I am caught up. Uh, unless Sarah, I did ask Sarah to uh, see what she was gonna see. It was fun though. Hit the pond and threw up a flame, three stories tall. My friend's mom wasn't too pleased. <laughs> I imagine not. Pretty sure the fire department didn't quite uh, appreciate that either. So yeah, what do you guys think about that plane? What do you, uh, what do you guys wanna see during the building process? And oh, that camera's look. I'm looking back here at my computer, and I can see me, but it's not the me that you guys are seeing. Sounds cool. Yeah. Yep. And flew it. Did it survive? Let me move you guys over here. That way, I'm kind of there. Now you guys can see the. Uh... There's Sarah. Oh, we'll figure it out without, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarah, what are you having problems with on the uh, swash plate? Let me know what radio and stuff you're using and we can help you out. Three rubber bands. Yeah, are you just using regular old rubber bands from like Office Depot or are you using like a, a wide rubber band for like a big newspaper? Yeah, the beaches in California. I have no beaches in Oklahoma. <laughs> yes, uh, Syndicate, it is 100% balsa wood and it'll be covered in Monaco. He gave me some olive, olive drab and another color and I don't know. Uh, is it gasoline? Uh, it could be. It, 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 it has nothing right now. It has no uh, no power plant whatsoever. It has no servos. The only servos that it has, which is not really servos, the only electronics that it has is the uh, electronic retracts, which are servoless. Um, hey Sarah, feel free to sign up on our forum, uh, rc-help.com, and there's a lot of people that can help you out uh, on setting up that swash plate. What is it? Oh, okay, so you got the real rubber bands. Okay, okay. You can't make the measurement small enough on the back link, which stops the swash plate moving.
Uh, Mark, I've never really built. I mean, my F4U I think has a little little guy in it or something. This is like very yellow. Uh, I think it has a little guy in it. My decathlon does not, uh, which is another scale plane, and none of my Edge 540s or my extra 260 or my Rogue 3D bike. Uh, none of them have little figures in them, so. It really doesn't matter to me. I'm not there to make this huge, awesome scale build. I'm just here to have fun building because that's what I absolutely love doing. Hey, Brandon. Well, I just had three come up on the phone and not a one of them are on the, on the computer yet. Uh, there's Brandon. Uh, okay, yeah, Sarah, if you want to upload like a picture or something of what it's saying, uh, you're gonna have to do that on the forum because it's nothing I can I can uh, override YouTube just will not let anybody upload any links or pictures or anything into the chat um, yep I can put whatever I want I think it'd be nice. Uh, I think that one will accept like a 30cc engine. Put a 30cc in it. That'd be awesome. A uh, little, uh, D, uh, not DRL. Um, I'm drawing a blank. 35 millimeter per ball link and it won't go that small. Okay, are you talking um, from ball link to ball link with a little shaft in the middle of it that you screw it onto is that the link you're talking about uh casey yes i i have done a balsa build and uh, doped it and in fact that's what uh yuri's doing b-e-r that's cool brandon Monaco is easy until you start putting it on something like an F4U that has a wing curve. Uh, so if you're looking at the wing, it's curving like this, but then it's also curving like this, and you gotta use like nine freaking pieces to put it together. Uh, that's the problem I'm having. Uh, whenever I got it, it was broke. Do paper and dope wings. I highly, highly doubt I'm gonna do that. That would actually be easier on the F4U because you can form the paper a hell of a lot easier. Uh, but yeah. I do need to get that F4U back out. Yep, Syndicate, that's the Goblin 380. Right there. And that's the 450, that's the 130. Uh, 130 is upside down because the skids won't allow me to put it the other way. And then, yeah, next to the 130, that little orange canopy. That's the uh, MCPX on crack, and then the MSR, and then of course you've got Murphy, and then the 550. Oh, there's no way in hell I'm, well actually I might, because I do actually have a .6 Nitro, never been run, from like 1970 something. It's never even had fuel put to it. But I really don't want to put that underpowered of a engine in a plane this size. I don't even know if it's going to fly. I don't know if it. I'm, I'm probably just going to build it and have it sit on a shelf somewhere. Four piece, two dollar planes from Hobby Lobby. I've built quite a few of those. Uh, I've even tried tackling the whole going to Walmart and buying that uh, styrofoam plane, little styrofoam glider, and uh, cutting it out, putting uh, electronics in it. Unfortunately, it didn't fare too well for me. Uh, the fuselage ended up getting destroyed, and I never went back and got another one. It wasn't destroyed in a crash or anything. I never even, uh, never even made it that far. And. Uh, Sarah, I'm not sure what you meant by B-E-R and white E-R. 
Uh, yes, Murphy is the longest. Uh, it is the 600. The one sitting next to it is the 550. Which, same head and tail, it's just the blades are a little bit longer and the tail's a little bit longer on the 600. I do not like. Let's see. Hey, dance party. That's kind of annoying. No, stop it. No. 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 Oh, hell no. No. Documentary? No. Dude, all these suck. Duh. Ooh, stretch. What? Oh, sketch. I was like, stretch? That's not sketch. Okay, I don't like any of those. What is uh, Y-E-R? I, I'm not sure what Y-E-R is. You're saying sus things out, so I know you're probably in Europe. <laughs> and you guys have some very unique words, kind of like we do over here. Oh, yes, yeah, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, if that's the case, and you can't get them, uh, you can't get them short enough, you're as yet, okay, there you go. Now, I just, that, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Uh, if you can't get them short enough, what you can do is you can unscrew them from that linkage rod, and you can kind of grind down the ends to bring it down. How far off are you? Um, you're saying 35 millimeter. How far off are you? How many millimeters off? Why in the hell would I unbox it again? I am still really, really mad about this. That is like a $150 card that is trash thanks to the Mobius that was mounted on the uh, quad. The ball inks are virtually touching on the thread. Oh, so the ball links are almost touching. Okay, yeah, just take it. Uh, take the ball links off and just chop a little bit of that plastic off. And you'll be able to uh, be able to screw them in a little bit tighter. I, I forget what you're even working on. Yeah, I've had to do that on, I think it was on a line helicopter that had, didn't have the fixed uh, grip links. Why Robin 65, oh, okay. Yeah, I never even heard of that. Let's see. Is that a 700 size helicopter? Unfortunately, you can't post the link on here. I would allow my members to post links on here if they could. But I can't. Uh, YouTube won't let me do it. Are you a... Uh, it's a 700 size? Okay, okay. Because they've got a 600 and a 700. What you can do is omit the, uh, like, the, uh, take out the dot .com or something. But I think I see it. New Robin 700 EC 665 Tiger flight performance test. Uh, this is over on one of the larger forums. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here looking. Uh, let's see. Holy crap. Is that your helicopter, Sarah? Is that seriously what you're building? Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. Holy crap. That is a lot of kit, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just sitting here looking at pictures of it. Obviously, with the YouTube and everything, I can't uh, I can't play a video on here. But yeah, holy crap, that's uh, well, almost dropped the phone. Share mute microphone and cancel. There is like just order the pilot and co-pilot. That is sweet. 
It looks like a spinoff of the Apache is exactly what it looks like. The landing gear looks the same. Uh, the fuselage looks the same. And even the tail section looks the same. What was that last message? 1,800 pounds. So that's probably about 2,400 US. Maybe a little bit less. The US dollar is getting stronger. Finally. Uh, what brand syndicate? It is a Tiger. And they spell helicopter with a K. Yeah, Robin. R-O-B-A-N. Yep. That is just that is just too cool, Sarah. That is awesome. That's probably not too bad. Uh, that's six hundred right there. I think we have about fifteen hundred in that one. I would love to see a video uh, whenever you get that one done, Sarah. I really would. It is, but hey, it's a hobby, you know. As long as you don't crash it, you don't ever lose your money. Lips are dry. Oh, that is freaking sweet. Everybody, thumbs up for Sarah's helicopter. Hell yeah. Let me just mute this. Why do you stop again? Uh, let's see. But I mean, even still, a 700 size scale helicopter for 1,800 pound. That's actually not too bad, uh, especially for one like that. Why is that not playing? It's really weird. Unboxing the box. I love the title of this one too. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. The delay, the delay from the cell phone to YouTube is like a quarter of what it is when it, uh, from what we do on the uh, on the computer. That includes all the internal, but not the battery. Yeah, I mean the batteries are going to run you if you're 700 size. You're probably going to run what a couple five thousand or a couple three thousands. No, 700 five thousands. Yeah, so two five thousands uh, in series 12s. Probably run you a good 150, 200 bucks for uh, one set of batteries. 130, yeah. So yeah, 150, 200 bucks. I do everything U.S. dollar. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, it's a it's a hobby, and quite honestly, I wish Gina was in here because she'd be praising you for building a helicopter. Uh, Gina is a sponsored pilot down in Florida here in the U.S. and uh, she's a very active member on our site uh, thankfully and I'm trying to I'm, I'm basically using Gina to try to bring more women into this hobby because we definitely need more women in this hobby but, yep takes two at a time are you running them in series uh, for 12s two 6s packs let me see something Three second delay. A three second delay. Oh wow, you've even got an Apache. I would love to take that 600 Nitro right there and throw an Apache fuse on it. It's just, holy, I mean, the fuselage itself is like 600 bucks. Bats in, oh, bats in, batteries in parallel, so you're only running 6S? So, okay, yeah. Yeah, parallels red to red, black to black, and they just run together. Whereas series, the red and the black uh, from different batteries will connect, and then the other two red and blacks will go uh, off to the ESC. Yeah. 
I'm sure you already knew that. Yep, 44 volts. Yep, 44.4. 12S. That's just fantastic. I, d I definitely want to see it uh, whenever. Hell, if you got build pictures, come over to the form and post them up. Because I would really like to see that. And your Apache, for that matter. Let me go into something. Why was I looking at that? Jacob and I, uh, Jacob's one of our, uh, <laughs> technically, I guess I gave him the uh, title of CFO. Uh, he's been doing all of our social networking and now he's doing more stuff. Uh, but I'm not gonna say what he's doing now because it's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, I need to get him flying. Let's see. Uh, live stream. Okay, so the live stream on the computer is absolutely completely separate from what it is uh, actually live control room. I'll be down. I'm in the control room and yeah. That's pretty sweet. Total view time, eight hours. So in 46 minutes and 44 seconds, we have eight hours of view time. That's awesome. Trying to see. There's the preview and public view. Cool. So yeah, who else is here? There's still like eight people watching. And uh, no, this isn't gonna be another five hour. I just, I needed to get this done for Tungsten because you know, he's been bugging me about it. He's been being real chill about it, about everything on this box. And uh, <laughs> I've just been putting it off and putting it off because well, you can't carry a four by eight sheet of plywood inside a Camaro. Uh, yeah. But I forgot that I had this six foot table that I could at least show you guys uh, what is in the box and what it is and what's coming up. Hey, Syndicate and Mark. Other TX switch functions for heli besides flight modes and hold switch. Uh, you've got your governor. You've got, if you're running an icon, you've got self level. Well, that would be your modes. That's all programmed in the same. Uh, I mean, you could put pretty much anything on it. Uh, you, know, you could have a switch to activate, you know, little smoke bombs or whatever, which would be really cool. I just saw a. Uh, deal on Facebook from SAB on the new fireball I think it was they put a piece of wood across the skids and put a couple little uh, red things on there I doubt I can find it is uh, buried way down in my feed I might actually be able to let's see SAB heli division yeah holy crap yeah, check that out. Is that the... No, that's the Comet. Yeah, that's the Comet, not the Fireball. My bad. Even the transmitter doesn't get this thing up high enough. I need it higher. Because I'm having to play like a balancing act. So, yeah. Um, is there anything in particular that you guys would like to see on that build? Um... Holy crap, don't go away. Do not go behind my monitor. I'll kick it. Yes, I will. I'm sure you guys remember from me doing the uh, uh, tail linkage rod on the Goblin that we used this, which is the medium. And then I've also got the uh, blue, which is the super thin, and then the red or pink that is the uh, extra thick. And these, the reason I got these is for that balsa plane. So, I just happen to need them for the Goblin as well. Uh, yes, with the Icon, it absolutely can be set up for bank angle limits, I believe. I'm not 100% on that because I haven't really done much playing with the Icon 2, like at all. I have done none of the programming. What you guys saw yesterday was the most programming that I have done in the Icon 2 software. 
DX6 to six channel receiver, no open channels, extra switches, useless. Not if you're flying a helicopter. If you're flying a helicopter, you need all six channels. Um, Cause you got throttle, then you got uh, pitch and roll, then you got yaw, those are your four just to control it. Then you've got your gyro gain, uh, and then your six channel is gonna be taken up by your pitch servo which should be on the left side of the helicopter. So no, you need it all. You That, that uh, channel five, your gear, is gonna go towards your gyro gain, usually. Unless you run on a 3GX, which I do have sitting around here somewhere. And on that one, if you're running satellites only, your gyro gain is on channel seven, not channel five. Yeah, it is, uh, Mark. It is very user friendly, and yeah, the forced updates are kind of a pain. But yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? At least I have never, I've never heard of a bad update from Icon or Brain. That's not saying that it couldn't happen, but I've never heard of a bad update from Icon or Brain. So I've never heard one from uh, Beast X either. Icon or uh, 3GX from a line. Now those, holy crap. 2.1 was the last good one that I know of. Uh, three, you had to get the helicopter off the ground before it spooled all the way up, otherwise the freaking thing would tip over. Uh, four, sometimes it would tip, but it was mostly stable on the ground, but it had tail problems in the air. And then five was like a combination of everything wrong. It was sluggish, the tail was all over the place. Uh, still have high idle. Rich in the bottom end, dude. Seriously, rich in the bottom end. I've said that like a dozen times now, brother. I don't mean to be an ass, but rich in the bottom end. If it will not richen up, you need to take your carburetor apart because there is a piece of silicone or a piece of dirt or something in there. Uh, make sure that you have a pressure line going from your exhaust pipe to your fuel tank to pressurize your fuel tank. There is something starving that engine. But getting back to helicopters, <laughs> I did just have somebody uh, basically spam our YouTube channel uh, saying that we need to get back into more ground pounders. So, and then I had Jacob ask me, what's, uh, what's up with the T-Max? <laughs> it's still here. All right, uh, questions, comments, suggestions. We've been going for blah, blah, blah long, uh, 50 minutes, 15 and a half. We are doing absolutely fantastic. Now we're at nine hours of total view time. Sweet. Uh, so let's see. I do, I, uh, you know what, hang on, hang on. Let's find out what exactly is in this bag. Yeah, you, you seriously, Brandon, you need to figure out what is, uh, what's starving that engine. Otherwise, you're going to blow it up again. Tungsten, are you still here? Put wheels on the troll and shut them up. I can't put wheels on the gobby. Tungsten, where are you? I need to know what this is. It has no sticker and it is very dirty. It is a 500 size uh, turbo. Okay, that's missing the sleeve, but that's a main and auto gear. Awesome. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Carbon fiber tail blades. Those will be broke real fast. So he gave me just one of the, uh, this is just the top of a bag. Time to dump. All right, so I already showed you guys the 40 amp ESC. Bam, hobby wing. I actually have one, no, yeah, yeah, hobby wing pin him. 
uh, I've got a whole bunch of uh, 30 amps. Ah, servo backers. Everybody needs those. Jelly of your carbon tail blades. Right, Tungsten. Uh, but what... Do uh, you know what? Who, who made it? Like, these servos here are Turnagees. Uh, and I do want to take these apart and find out a little something. Maybe. Oh, maybe there it is. Oh, son of a... Where is it? Nope, that's not it either. Holy crap. Don't fall, guys. Don't fall. I'm trying to get ready for these videos on these cameras, and I've been testing the crap out of them, and I got stuff everywhere, and I can't find anything. Holy crap, I just lost my flashlight. I don't know where my Phillips is. I think it's turn G, okay. I guess this will work. Ah, bonus, they are Metal Gear. These are for the Cyclics. Those look like about an 18 spline count. Three millimeter. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I was just uh, ever inverted landing on the ceiling. Negative. I don't really fly helicopters in the house. I keep looking at the computer, thinking that I'm still talking to the webcam. But I'm liking this reduced latency on the phone. If I could just get the color, the colors are absolutely horrible. If I can get the this freaking thing won't go back in. If I get the colors right uh, on this phone, I may just start doing all of the live streams from the phone. I mean, I can't like switch cameras or anything. Ain't that a pain? We needed these last night. Zelda Breath of the Wild. The only Zelda game that I even remotely liked playing was a link to the past. The other ones are just kind of bleh. And this is a Hobby Mate HB2835. 3600 KB. So that is actually not a bad motor, depending on what the wattage is. It doesn't say what the wattage is. Nothing else, guys? Seven of you guys still watching? Uh, it says eight on there, but seven on my phone. That motor actually feels really good. All the bearings feel good in it. That's fantastic. There's no nothing flashy on this one. It's just me. <laughs> you know, I can't put a border on this on the phone. I can't do any of that uh, hopefully they'll come up with a way that we can you know do something like that what's this button do show non cancel show off Murphy I don't have enough room all right all right now tungsten this is absolutely awesome brother I really appreciate it um, I know you had said that, I, I, I think you said you kind of lost passion to uh, to build that plane. Um, and that's unfortunate, but I know where you're coming from because I kind of lose passion in building planes. All right, cool, sir. Cool. I, I really appreciate you coming in, you know, that's, and especially with that helicopter, that helicopter is absolutely fantastic so i really appreciate you coming in and i hope you have a good night i know it's uh, really late over there in europe so hopefully you have a fantastic night and uh technically it's easter for you guys right now so happy easter if you uh so happen to celebrate yes i did and i got tired of chasing him mark all right <clears throat> mark always bugging me to do stuff i mean look at this look at this look at, look at I gotta get all that crap off this helicopter. Ugh, get the hell.
hat off of there. I needed a place to hang some coax, or not coax, ethernet, cat five E. Uh, Murphy. Yep, it's Murphy. All freaking, what, 10 pounds of them? All right, Mark, what do you want to see on Murphy? And this will go to everybody else that's been wanting to see Murphy. Holy crap. Oh, I gotta get this big ass box out of the way. And shut my blinds. Uh, Murphy is very dirty. That Evo pipe is awesome though. Align starter OS 55 and I have I don't have near enough fuel line but I don't like having a crap ton of fuel line it's just it's ugly to me uh, DS 610 cyclics DS 620 on the uh, engine for the throttle and a DS 655 for the uh, for the tail well, I mean, that depends on what you mean by stock. This started its life out as an ESP model. Awesome, Sarah. Awesome. I, like I say, I really appreciate it, and I cannot wait to see that helicopter in more detail. So I'll look forward to seeing you on there. Uh, like I was saying, this helicopter started out as a 600 ESP with a fly bar head. Uh, it has obviously been converted to fly barless. This head and... Uh, this entire tail block actually come off of an Align 550. Take it easy, Sarah. Like I say, have a good night. Uh, the head and tail come off of a uh, Align 550. And I was able to purchase those on eBay whenever I redid this. And anybody that's been on the forum since 2013 knows the battle that we had. Uh, what do you mean back? You mean your back? Watch this, watch this canopy. <laughs> uh, see, I do have an icon on it. And uh, a line battery. This, what the hell was, oh, that goes to my Bluetooth module. Uh, so I can put Bluetooth on this thing. And then telemetry module. There's one of the spectrum. I thought I took both the spectrum satellites off of this. Holy crap. So there's still one on there, but I don't have any of the wires on there. Uh, DS655, unfortunately, focus, uh, that servo's giving me problems. All I have to do is unplug it and plug it back in and it starts working, which worries the ever-living hell out of me. What else you guys want to know? Besides this thing, flies absolutely fantastic. Um, I do need to secure that wire back down. Put my Bluetooth module back on my other satellite, which goes right there. Get the wires for them. Um, like I said, the lighting's horrible in here, but actually, those those lights right there are uh, 4200K, and this is a better representation than when I was over on my desk, which has a 6500K uh, light. Look at this. You guys see all that oil? Uh, that is the downside of nitro right there. I need to get some more carbon fiber tail blades for this thing. But, yeah. <laughs> I put a brand new set of carbon fiber tail blades on this helicopter. And instantly uh, hit the ground and they shattered. They delaminated. But, the skids are different. Uh, I've got newer skids on it. They're a lower pro lower profile, and they match the white and black theme, except for the canopy, which is an X canopy canopy. Very nice. Uh, here a while back, I was talking about the crack. You guys can see the crack right there. No, that's not hair. That's that's a crack. Uh, and the six and the zero. 
But that's the only damage uh, on this canopy, and that made that canopy from XRC unsellable. They would not sell it the way it was. So I need to take this off too. Uh, both, Mark. The uh, what you see on the canopy, yeah. I mean, it's it's dust. I don't fly Murphy because Murphy gives me massive headaches. But this back here, this oil that you saw, that is the remnants of nitro flying. You know, that's just, it's what happens. Basically, let me spin them back around. Basically the uh, fuel and oil, or the smoke and oil come out of there and they come down and they just get, they get all over everything. I mean, that's why the dust is so bad right there, because the oil just attracts it. It is impossible to uh, keep these freaking things clean. Absolutely impossible. But again, thanks to Gina uh, for that bag. You guys actually didn't see that. I was watching the uh, watching the replay, and you guys didn't see when I showed the bag of satellites that Gina sent me. There is six satellites in there, two DSMX and four DSM2s. So, does that give you guys your Murphy fix? See now, look, 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 there's a, like a blank space right there, come on. You made me take Murphy down. You're like an old man in the 80s. Why? Robocop? Alright, so Stambo's helping that guy that I couldn't help on YouTube. He'll stick with lipo. Nitros, I'm going to tell you, nitros are fun. They really are fun. Uh, they're just they're messy which is it's the nature you know once you get one you're gonna know that you're gonna have to clean it um, I love the smell I love the sound unfortunately my body can't handle the smell anymore it can handle the sound it just can't handle the smell just like massive headaches so I wonder let me see No, nope, that didn't really help. It's still kind of yellow. Not as yellow, but it's still kind of yellow. Yeah, whatever. All right, uh, post up, guys. Let me know. We've got some storms in Oklahoma that may be moving our way. Does this phone have a charge? I just have, like, random phones laying around. <laughs> Why would you give up if you went nitro? Nitro to me was probably, let's get you guys over here. Nitro to me was probably one of the best challenges I've ever taken on uh, since I got into uh, helicopters in this hobby. Uh, no SIM card, no kidding. I don't want a SIM card, what I want is radar scope. Yeah, it looks like it's all gonna stay up near Kansas. Nothing, nothing. Bueller, come on. Whoa. Phone just like shut off. Hmm. Thought I'd just put a fresh charge in that. <coughs> I don't know anything about nitros. Mm, I can't really say I didn't either because I've been playing with two stroke engines uh, pretty much since I could pick up a weed eater. And I grew up in a family where we couldn't we couldn't afford to you know just go out and buy a new weed eater uh, when ours broke. So we had to learn. When I was seven years old, and my mother and father got a divorce. I had to learn how to work on them. So nitro has always been pricey on fuel. 
you know uh, the fuel that I run in that which is the same stuff that uh, Gina runs that's like $20 a gallon and a gallon will last you probably 15 20 tanks something like that so I mean it doesn't just run out instantly uh, but you can get higher dollar stuff that's like $36 so yep my phone's dead suck You know what? I know what I can do. Since you guys are on here and you're still talking, I will. Uh, I'll just keep this going. Hold on. You guys got really close. What do you guys think of my stickers back here? Ugh! Get out of the light. <laughs> I love those. Let's see. Have you done any speed tests with Hellier plane? Uh, not legitimately. I have seen just how fast they'll go. But I haven't ever like gotten a speed uh, speed measuring gun. I haven't gotten a radar out to figure out how fast they were going. That's what I was trying to say. Byron fuels, yeah, those are a little bit more expensive uh, than what I run. Open up. What? Oh yeah, I put a passcode on. Why did I put a passcode on this? The freaking thing never leaves my house. Now I can't get the kickstand out. That's what I'm working on. Ah, huh, fool. Now I'm trying to lock that thing in a position. There it goes. So now I can. Uh, what the hell? Go away. Open up radar scope. So, that's, uh, where am I looking? Why was I in the Texas Panhandle? Yeah, that's what it looks like right now. Looks like there's a tornado warning right there, southeast Nebraska. Um, let's see, is there a radar? There is no radar close to that. I think this one's the closest. Yeah, there's definitely a tornado in that. They might want to make that tornado warning a little bit bigger. Let's check out velocities. Oh, yeah. Right freaking there. Developed a tail twitch. Uh, obviously, you're running a 600 fly bar, uh, which the fly bar doesn't matter. What gyro? Uh, what gyro and tail servo are you running there, John? Uh, what old telemetry am, am I running in Murphy? Uh, I am running head temp on the engine and receiver voltage. Uh, yeah, because once I see that receiver voltage start dropping, then I know that the LiPo has come down enough. So yeah, if you are in uh, southeast Nebraska, let's see, let me, let me see if I can get a town. I don't know if anybody's actually there or not, but if you guys are around Dawson, uh, Nebraska, which is east of Pawnee City, uh, you guys may want to go to your hidey holes. Futaba GY 600... Uh, I don't know if that's OE, but it could be. Uh, what about your tail servo? What servo are you running? If you bought expensive fuel, can you expect better performance? No. Uh, like I said, I'm running fuel that's 20 bucks a gallon. Gene is running fuel that's 20 bucks a gallon. And absolutely love it. I hate holding this phone. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, if you guys are down there, uh, southeast Nebraska, holy crap, you're all going to die very fast. Uh, go back to the radars. There's not really much here in Oklahoma. Yeah, everything has moved out of Oklahoma. Right there is the Oklahoma line. Cool. Right on, right on, right on. And now 
that's just gra uh, ground clutter here in Oklahoma. But yeah, what does the, uh, what servo is it? What a coffee shop has on discount. Uh, in my case, that's usually nothing. Uh, 9256, okay. Uh, the 92, it, if you got it used, because that's a pretty old helicopter, if you got that thing used, it might be worthwhile to go ahead and upgrade your uh, gyro and tail servo. At least, since you're a fly bar, you can get it really cheap, like a, a an Align GY 780 uh, tail, tail gyro is fantastic. And then if you can get like a DS, hell, even a DS620, uh, would do great on that tail. I'm running a DS655 in my 600, which is that guy right there. So, yeah, I'm running a 655 in that one, and obviously I'm running an Icon Gyro. But I would, I really don't like the Futaba uh, servos, and the reason I don't like them is because the voltage is so low on them. They're really good, but the voltage is extremely low, so if you screw up, you're just gonna like uh, blow it up. Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> I love my radar, man. This is like, this is this is my favorite time of year, right here, storm season. I love it. And all the storms are hitting around us. They're not hitting here. What's up with that? Savix, a line hater. It's the same thing. The delay has gotten longer so whenever i first started there was like almost no delay three seconds and now it's up to like five or six been a monsoon there lately well time to buy a boat why say the mcpx is on crack does it have a brushless upgrade yes it does it has the biggest brushless upgrade that you can put in it You guys keep getting so close. Okay, uh, John, I wasn't done with that. I got sidetracked. Uh, my apologies. Um, Tony the Chimney Newland. Yeah, well, it happens. Uh, it's better to vape than smoke. So there's that. Uh, John, take your linkage. Uh, in fact, you know what? Before I show off that MCPX on crack, let me just walk over here right quick. And I'll spin this one around. This started its life as a 600 ESP, just so you know. Right here is my tail servo, and it comes back to this, which pretend like this isn't here for yours because your tail servo is probably back here. But what I want you to do is pop off that linkage rod and then move this linkage rod to see if it's binding anywhere. Like if it's binding there, if it's binding there, and see if this slider is binding. Now your slider is not gonna be like mine, uh, this is the new, the newer DFC uh, tail block, but just make sure there's no binding in there. Make sure everything's moving smooth. If there is binding, check your shaft for a little bit of rust. Uh, check your uh, thrust bearings. I think these. I'm pretty sure these have thrust bearings. It's been so long since I took it apart. But check and make sure everything's moving nice and free. And then uh, check your servo. Just grab a hold of your servo arm and just kind of move it and see if you can feel any sort of any sort of gear uh, degradation in there. And that thing is just covered in oil. I need to take these out. Those blue lights are a fan controller. And there's supposed to be six lights, but three of them burn out. Uh, some people make Savix Align and Spectrum servos. I toured the factory in Tian. I think you mean Taiwan. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It Everything now is the same product rebranded. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the way it's going. I could have thrown out a really dirty joke right there, Kyle. No, don't go with high tech. All right. You guys wanted to see the MCPX on crack. Or, well, Mark did. 
This thing's even dustier because the uh, tail motor doesn't work. So I'm just popping off the Monster Energy canopy. Once again, thanks to uh, Kev, Kevin over at NexRC. Oh, and you can't even see that freaking motor in there. Uh, and I can't. I was kind of counting on it. Yeah, well. All right, let's see. Let me bring some light over here, shine a little light on the subject. That's the canopy. Uh, for anybody that was wondering, it is, again, an X canopy. Yeah, there's almost no delay, Kyle. Uh, it's fantastic. It was down to like three seconds. Now, this thing has a full, look at all that dust, look at that, I can't even fly it. Uh, full carbon, uh, carbon fiber frame, that is what is called the Steve. Uh, that's the real name for it. It takes a brushed signal from that yellow wire, which goes... Uh, ah, it's the uh, the one that's heat shrinked. Focus. Anyway, it's the one that's got heat shrink on it. Uh, smooth tail is a happy tail. You're right about that. But the pride and joy is that motor up in there. That is the HP05. I mean, it's just, yeah. Did I have that in the attic? <laughs> no, Gina, I did not. That, uh, what's up? That was hanging right back there. In fact, that hole right here, that's where it was hanging. So, I know, I know. The, well, the tail motor's out on it. You know, the poor thing, it just, this thing goes through tail motors like crazy. I ha I've had a 120 tail motor on it, but it's an MCPX. I mean, come on, nobody flies MCPX anymore. Uh, you think you need to sneeze looking at it? Oh, yeah. How you doing, Gina? Yeah, uh, Mark wanted to see my MCPX on crack. And uh, so, yeah. I think Syndicate's in love with you. You do what? I'm pretty sure it'll still fly, though. It's got amazing power, but it's, it blows the tail out like crazy. Uh, this helicopter is why I have those 550 milliamp batteries so yeah there's that wow that lights like blowing this camera out awesome awesome I seriously need to come out there and uh, come flying with you guys just be put to complete and utter shame uh, now I gotta put this freaking canopy back on, which has never been easy on the MCPX. Gina, have you ever flown an MCPX stock modified or whatever? Oh, and I do have an aluminum swash plate on it too. I never had the need to replace the uh, blade grips, so I never did. You have one? Awesome. Modified or stock? Because that's my highly modified one minus the tail even though I do have a solid tail boom uh, I no longer have the hollow one oh stock that's what that one is is a v1 yeah <laughs> old school OG that's what I'm talking about on what Kyle On your MCP, I don't even know if you can find those parts for the MCPX anymore. You still have a 130X? That's what the Red Bull is right there, is a 130X. And I kind of want the other 130X, the original, real 130X. I don't know why, just nostalgia, I guess. Matt has one. What blades? Blades on what, Syndicate? Are you talking about the blades on the MCPX? Yeah. Well, that one right there, 
uh, the Red Bull Edition 130X, it actually came with my DX9 Black. So, you know, I was like, hell, I gotta buy it. Buy a radio, and everywhere that's selling them is selling them for full price. Let's get a free helicopter. So, yeah. You need a new micro heli, a line 150. People have had problems with them. I've had zero, zero problems out of my line. Uh, I have upgraded the frame twice because I smashed it into a house. <laughs> your micro now is your X3. <laughs> <coughs> uh, that was a little delayed, Mark. So yeah, you know, that was that was the badass micro of its time. You know, they had the HP05 and then they had the uh, smaller motor that wasn't quite as powerful. Uh, I decided to go all out, and which is why I had to get the 550 milliamp batteries and everything. Uh, yes, the uh, Align 150 met the house at a very high rate of speed. Everybody saw that. I posted it here on a live stream. <laughs> it, uh, it broke my brand new carbon fiber and aluminum frame and uh, Kev was nice enough to uh, to send me another one, the other version of that frame because there was one piece that broke when I hit the house. There was a piece that broke that I didn't think should have broke. So I had him send me a different frame where that piece was a little bit different. Crack goes to 15 pod. 15 poo? Oh, yeah. Well, there's some crack somewhere fat finger in that phone <laughs> I really don't like chat on this phone because it comes up and then it goes away that's it spell check in fact I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about let me uh, crank that camera around. and you guys will just have to kind of look at that camera right there alright see that, sh that chat just came up And now they go away. That's all the longer I have to read a chat on the phone. So that's why whenever I was doing that unboxing, well, <laughs> I couldn't read it because I was paying attention to what was in the box. What are you guys saying? Uh, I'm back, had a small house fire with neighboring department. What did I miss about the plane build? Hopefully it wasn't your house that was on fire. Galaxy S7 Edge. What's wrong with my U.S. flag blades? That's a 4th of July theme. I think I have a canopy around here somewhere for it. I think. Maybe. Come, on. Come with me. Um, nope, there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh, there's all the canopies. That's, that's where they live. Uh, so, not your house. Okay. Yep, I got that MCPX canopy and that MCPX canopy. How the hell do we get on this topic? <laughs> What's your problem, kitty? Hmm? Crackhead. You're an idiot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> that's my alarm clock uh, I remember the website that sold those blades they had a big yes they did and that's pretty much I'll go back over there uh, that's pretty much why I got them at the uh, well for free Blade 180 CFX, I think, is the best collective tail, my collective tail micro. What? Hey, Joseph. What's up? Kind of winding down. We've already unboxed the the P40. Close up. Shut up. Uh, yeah, unboxed the P40 E, and uh, showed off Murphy a little bit. Uh, showed off some stuff that I'll be doing some videos on probably tomorrow. Oh, I need to I need to charge them freaking things. 
And, oh yeah. Shut off that little crackhead. I think my, what are you doing? What? Don't argue with me. Doc kick you. <laughs> you try it. I know where you sleep. <laughs> I'll let you out in a minute. That's all she wants. So come on, guys. Post up. There's like 11 of you guys watching. So, post up. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever. Tony in his very unusual slap happy mood. What do you mean? I'm always in a slap happy mood. What are you eating? Well, oh, it has a Cheerio I dropped on the floor. <laughs> Rephrase that once again, Joseph. Do you mean do I have a GoPro? Or do I have a G Pro Align Gyro? Well, uh, which one? Actually, in either case, the answer is no. I have a 3GX. And, uh... Those are the closest things that I have to GoPros. Now what are you laughing at? Syndicate? You love cats. Uh, G Pro. No, uh, I did have somebody send one to me and I played with it for a little bit and I absolutely did not like it. I would rather have the 3GX over the G Pro. I'm fixing to put a 3GX back in my 450 and I'm going to find, for once and for all, I'm going to find the settings and the firmware to get a helicopter flying on the 3GX stable, reliable and it won't freaking tip over or have tail issues. Well, Syndicate, if you come here, you can have this one. Uh, she has all of her claws. She is a royal pain in the ass. Uh, she will wake you up forcibly when she wants out. That, exactly, Gina, exactly. The 3GX is no good. What do you mean, I, I hope? No, I know that I can get the 3GX flying stable. I've done it multiple times. Uh, I've had the 3GX flying stable on two, three, four, and five. So yeah, five is actually what gave me the most problem. Three is really good if you have experience and you can get that sucker up into the air really fast. If you can give it a half spool, if you have real slow spool up, if you can give it a half spool and pop that sucker up into the air, uh, version 3.1 is the best version but if you're like 90% of the people that are flying them out there you want to bring it up to speed on the ground let it sit there for a second and see what it's going to do on 3.1 it's just going to go and flop over on you but no I can I can get a good tune in a 3GX y'all don't even worry about that I just I took it out to play with everything else <clears throat> My cat slapped me right in the middle of the forehead before. <sighs> the one you have is 3.1, never flew it. Why? Why not? There's Chicago. You missed all the fun, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> you like your demons? I like the name of your demons. Check this out. Alright, everybody watching, all 14 of you, there's really 14 people watching this. Why? <laughs> uh, Gina sponsored pilot by Gowie and of course uh, by uh, Zeal Blades and uh, that battery company that I can't remember awesome people you know proceeds go to breast cancer awareness and all that is absolutely awesome uh, I what I don't know what that is Joseph it's the 3GX I thought you said it was a G Pro but she has a cat named Gowie. How awesome is that? You name your cat after your helicopter? Sweet. Hey, John. What's the problem with the G Pro? I never could get the G Pro to work right. Uh, it just it felt sluggish. It didn't feel like it was locked in, and it just it kind of just felt like it was just 
meandering around. It was never just solid, you know. Uh, other people have done, have done the G Pro and absolutely love them. You know, if, if theirs is kind of wobbly in my opinion, but it's solid in theirs, that's all that matters. You know, as long as it's flying right for you, that's what matters. I've only got 14% battery left in that. About time to get a refill on battery. Uh, instead of tail motor, what is the adjustable pitch tail called? Uh, just the shaft or a belt drive tail is all I know. What was that you said above that? See, I, I couldn't do this on here. Whoa. Wouldn't stop tipping over no matter what you did. Yep. If you would spool it halfway up and pop it into the air, then you could get that one in the air, and it would be absolutely fantastic. You can put, if you want to, you can put 2.1 on it, and it will uh, help out quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, John, what do you mean? You've heard it works better on a fly barless than a fly bar. If you're, I wouldn't, don't, don't ever put a fly barless gyro on a fly bar helicopter. The fly bar and the gyro will fight each other and it will crash. <laughs> Enjoying the live chat? Yeah. We don't have live chat on the, uh, on the forum, so this is about the only place you can get it. And unfortunately... Uh, I've probably missed reading some of these, so to anybody watching this in the future, I apologize. So, out of all you guys that are watching now, who wants, who ha, who did not see the unboxing? Uh, the lighting is worse because the sun went down, but I can try to show you uh, what it was. Maybe. Okay. Hey Gina, you missed it, man. We had a girl named Sarah on here from the UK that was building an absolutely awesome scale helicopter. Check this thing out. Check this thing out. She's building that. A 700 size. How awesome is that? She just signed up on the forum. So hopefully she'll be posting pictures over there. I thought that was awesome. You know, another female in the hobby building a huge scale helicopter. And she's already built a uh, an Apache. Uh, let's see. Not you. Uh, Joseph, did you mean you did not see it? Uh, Kyle missed it. I don't care about that. <clears throat> uh, if you're asking how long I have been in RC, I have been in RC since 94. Yeah, Kyle, start using your real name, fool. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll uh, I'll give you a look at that once again. I really need to get something to drink. I think I'm out of tea. she wanted I think his name is Lillian Irish or something like that yeah there that poor thing right there needs a new fly bar cage put on it that thing needs a new motor because it's like severely underpowered that is fixing to get the 3GX 
that we are still building and that one I do not own <laughs> it's just kind of here you are the Rodney Dangerfield of RC alright I gotta put the uh, canopy back on this is gonna be fun I've been doing RC since 83 I was 40 you are freaking old man I was 12. Here, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to put the canopy back on this thing one handed. Ah. Yes, it does have a clip. <laughs> These have a clip that clip the canopy on. We're not spoiled like all you people that are getting brand new helicopters nowadays where they just magically slide on and don't freaking move. All right, Murphy, come on. Go back home. Where you will spend the rest of eternity. You have a 600 Nitro? Awesome. I don't know what Gina just said. So, uh, right here. Uh, this is the box. P40E Warhawk, 1 7th scale, gold edition from Top Flight. I was 12 also in 92, so we're the same freaking age. Sorry, I was reading the uh, reading the chat. So there you go. Check that out. I don't know if Tungsten is still on here. I think he is. It... Oh yeah, he is. He was the one that just commented that I missed. Uh, yeah, so right there's the canopy for this sucker. It is a uh, pretty good size. You knew you'd get a re-unboxing. He says I'm doing it for you. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those days. When the clouds and the haze all cover the sky. Alright. So yeah. <laughs> That's the plane. <laughs> That's all it is. There's all the crap that goes with it. Or it should be in it. It's missing some things. Wing decals, fuselage decals. Of course, you got your tail numbers. Why did they pick 67? Hmm. I think we're only going to have numbers on one side of the plane. We're going to get rid of the seven. And of course, these are the uh, original uh, landing gear. However, tungsten was kind enough to include some 90 degree rotating retracts. I don't know if the P40 takes uh, 90 degree rotating, but yeah. And of course you got all your little bits and bobs. Uh, there, there is some damage from the uh, from some mice, like this piece right here. Uh, that one got chewed up real good. I may be able to fill that in, but I'm not sure. Wingspan 64 inches. I think it was 64 uh, right tungsten so yeah that's the p40 warhawk guys awesome awesome world war ii plane uh if i do get it built this will be my uh second large scale warbird and then of course it comes with uh, all the little plastic plastic pieces uh for all the hard hard areas I have no clue where most of them go and that is where the uh, let's see yep see that one's marked p40 wing and then that one's marked p40 fuse yeah 64 inch awesome so uh, tungsten is going to try to get me the build guide on this because like I said I have no clue where any of this stuff goes that looks like those uh, inner link things that I use in my aquarium So there you go. And he said circa 1984. There is no destructions. He did not include them. Yeah. See how special I am? <clears throat> you guys sit back right there. Kind of crooked. 
See, Murphy's back home. You're screwed then. <laughs> That's no kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, yeah, it's always sad when somebody takes their own life. I'm having to go back through the chat because I didn't see it on here. <laughs> Retired, approaching 50 fast. Yeah, we all get there eventually. Started in Helly's last December. Like four months ago, last December. Yeah, I'll glance at them. Doesn't mean I'll follow them, but I'll glance at them. <clears throat> uh, let's see if I uh, confident with sport flying collective helis. Let's see if I timber the first. Uh, I don't know, Mark. I don't know if the uh, timber is a good plane or not. I don't think I've heard of that. Look at that. Kyle's trying to talk smack. Yeah, real. What? What'd you find out about the chat window? Other than I like uh, Ban Scott accidentally. <laughs> There's no pictures. Oh, this thing ain't never getting built then. Let's find out. I'm just waiting for somebody to post a chat now. pop-up pages would be awesome and you must be talking about uh, the chat on the left when you're on the phone I wonder what happens if I do this device rotate or rotate device <laughs> oh cool it just stays there yeah on my screen it says rotate device and it shows a lock symbol so yeah I can't like rotate my phone picky freaking iPhones. Make jello in the canopy mold. No. There's a chance that the hot jello would actually deform the uh, canopy mold. A boxed shelf queen. Yeah. Oh God, the world just tilted. Only in your mind. If if this live stream is your world, oh man, there is a straight jacket for you somewhere. <clears throat> Chicago, are you on a phone or are you on a computer? because I'm watching it on my computer on the same page that you guys would watch it. On a tablet, which would be pretty much the same as a phone, uh, except you have more land area than I do. Hmm. I just so happen to have a tablet. Do I have YouTube on this tablet though? Yes, I do. <clears throat> How do I know there isn't already? I don't. I just said, to, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going into it now. Who is this guy? 
Find out and get a $200 coupon right now from Fowler Volkswagen of Norman. Go to FowlerVW.com. Our easy-to-navigate website allows you to shop anywhere and anytime, schedule service, and get oil change coupons. And you'll find this guy to get that $200 coupon. Fowler VW is family-owned and family-friendly, so become part of the Fowler family. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. Just search Fowler VW. Click here to claim your $200 coupon and get it texted to your phone right now. <laughs> Can't skip that one. <laughs> Can't skip that one. <laughs> What's the volume? What's the volume? <laughs> We're going to have to mute that, otherwise, it's going to keep going back and forth. Got to get to Fowler. Yes, you do. All right, so I have it like that. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what's this? Why am I seeing this ad? Because it's awesome. And it helps RC help out when you check out those ads like that. Um, iPad. Oh, yeah. Don't freaking hit that one. A little bit? What? Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I don't know that. Alright, so let's go there. So on this one, nope, nope. I was fixing to say on this one, the chat was actually staying there. It would just fade as it went up. Nope, it still goes away. So it just came back. That's all the chat right there. And it goes away. Okay. Um, every time I tilt it, the chat comes back. That's interesting. I think that's what Chicago was talking about. I believe that, Tungsten. Yes, I do. What are you guys doing? You guys still here? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all been? Gina Tucker likes RC Helps Photo. Oh, Jacob's been at work again. I've created a lot of different uh, different colored logos for RC Help. I have never created a teal one, ever, ever. Close the chat box before going to full screen. Well, here's the problem. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see here, whenever I'm not in full screen, darken, you can see the chat. And then if I tilt it, the chat just gets really freaking big on the bottom. So, go ahead and close the chat and go to full screen. I'm still in landscape era portrait too, by the way. Shuck in corn. The corn's not even ready yet this year. It was just planted. My corn hasn't even been planted yet. I still gotta get that crap in the ground. You're right. The chat won't show. Yeah, I can't have that. Right on. 
That is very interesting. Thanks for showing me that, Chicago. <clears throat> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, what? Gina shared RC Hope's post. Thank you, Gina. That's awesome. Jacob's stalking me again. That's what that uh, thing is on, is this live stream. <laughs> Thumbs up for Jacob. Uh, Stambo. Everyone type something. I share all of them. That's awesome. Thank you. Next live stream of the troll. I don't, I actually don't know. Um... I don't know. Uh, the next one, I did something. <laughs> the next one is most definitely going to have to be probably wire management because I mean, the wire management on that thing is absolutely horrendous. Um, I don't know. When would you like it to be? Don't say tonight because that's just flat not going to happen. How is that possible? It says I've been going for an hour 28 on a computer, but on here it says I've been going for 117 minutes, which is almost two hours. It said started streaming two hours ago. What's up with that? And this has Wow, it's got a weird description. You damn right it won't stay that way with Captain OCD around. Hey, I've got tools, man. Mm-hmm. It's getting fixed. And I am also planning on something very special, but I have to get some really 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 bad chemicals to make it happen and I really don't know always shorten your yeah it's better than you know taking them and folding them over and zip tying zip tying them together that just that looks horrible uh let's see but yeah you know I've, I've got to shorten them up I've got to wire manage the thing I'm thinking about taking a black sharpie or something and coloring in all of the servo leads Well done. There's 10 of y'all watching now. So yeah, Mark, I don't know when the actual next live stream will be on the troll. I do know it will not be on this phone. I actually have like a whole bunch of that stuff. Somewhere. Ugh. Okay, so I don't have that much left, but yes. Fire gas. Damn thing won't focus. But yes, I have used this on a lot of uh, servo leads. The reason why that's so small, I have some bigger stuff somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But this is what I used on one of my old computers to individually sleeve every single wire on the power supply. That took a while. And it took a lot of that loom. Let's see. Shut up, Kyle. That's like the third time I've told you to shut up in this video. That's awesome. I 
Oh, no, that's, I mean, the, the spool on that thing is only that big, and it only wrapped around, like, maybe ten times, so there might be maybe two foot on that roll. But like I said, I got some bigger stuff. Uh, I'm thinking about taking uh, on the Hobby Wing ESC. The Hobby Wing ESC has the uh, four strands because that one, the governor and all that. I'm thinking about taking and splitting it into two different strands and then putting those together and going ahead and sleeving that because that's got to go from the front all the way to the back and then up to the top. Um... D shot? What is D shot? Apparently, I know nothing about that because I don't even know what it is. Yeah, there's no real good way to calculate delay uh, on this one. Got to keep the helicopters in view. <laughs> Yeah, the the whole delay thing is way shorter with this phone. Cause I mean I can do it, let's see. About five seconds. That's what I'm getting. Cause recording it here, watching it over here. I'm probably watching it at no no I'm not. Awesome. But it is only recording on the phone at 720, and this is a 4K capable phone. So yeah, that's interesting. But I'd rather it do 720 than 1080 anyway. <sighs> you like that? Oh, oh, I need to put all my crap back. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Uh, Gina's going to drive to Oklahoma, and she's probably going to kill me. Oh, can't have that wire sticking out like that. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> so... If I die tonight, Gina's at fault because she's probably going to kill me. What is a manatus? Man manatus? They're definitely having fun down there. Kill you? Why? Because I use my helicopters as uh, storage racks. <laughs> When I should be flying them. I really should. But those two, I they're like way too big for my yard. I mean, I'm not like... Still no idea, Kyle. <laughs> I've got to shut up locked and loaded. Bring it. <laughs> like I said, if I don't make it through the night. <laughs> More mini heli sense, yeah. It happens. Show one out here in about 10 seconds. No voice from here, so I can't scream at you. <laughs> I 
Jacob's doing that too. What is your deal? Why are you so pushy? Usually this cat just wants to be left alone. No, you're already pushing me because you sent me those satellites, which is awesome. And I just found out. I thought I took both satellites off of the Nitro. Uh, I just I found one on the 600. Nitro, well, yes and no. Uh, they run nitromethane, which is the Nitro in uh, RC model fuel. Which is Nitro in RC is methanol with the percentage of nitromethane. Uh, top fuel, they run like a, I think it's a 98% mix, uh, nitromethane. Something like that. It's ridiculous. Ridiculously high. Very volatile. <clears throat> uh, kill you in a second. What the hell are you talking about, Kyle? I'm looking at all the crap that they have under the smileys tab. This is some weird crap. Closer? Kyle, you're drunk. Go home. See a bugger? It'll be fine. <laughs> so I showed you what was in the box. I showed you guys Murphy, which I have kind of refused to get down for a while now. Showed you the MCPX on crack. Showed you the cameras. I didn't show you all the cameras. I still have another one that I'll be doing a review on. I, uh, I don't know. The video quality sucks. I'll tell you that right now. The hue is like, yeah, you want to talk about boogers. Uh, the hue is way too far on the green side. Phonics, not phonic, phonics. We can tell you weren't hooked on phonics, were you? No, you weren't. <laughs> Uh, why good evening, Jacob. What you doing, man? Besides making teal colored logos things, I've never in my life made a teal logo ever, and I probably never will. The only the only reason I'd make a teal logo is if somehow I did something RC to the old Corvair. You missed your PS4. Were you, like, trying to shoot it? Ah. Ah, I see, Mark. I think Kurt has it. And I don't know, because I, I had to drive it for a while, a long time ago, and the I wasn't racing it. You, you don't race a freaking Corvair. But the clutch just freaking shattered on it, and uh, he took it up to his house, and I don't know what's happened to it from there. 
Uh, same thing with the 41 Dodge, the old gangster car. And then Grandma sold the uh, uh, Ford Starliner. Yep, Gina liked it and Gina shared it. How awesome is that? Oh yeah, and I showed you uh, the stuff that Tungsten sent me. Uh, the gears, uh, a full set of servos, ESC, a motor. Yeah. The only downside is I, I don't use uh, straight cut gears anymore. But I might have to put a straight cut gear on it because I think I'm out of helical gears. Gina likes and shares all of them. That's right. Genius is freaking awesome. That's just all there is to it. She just needs to get a shirt that says, I am awesome sauce. Waiting to come back to that one. I am curious as the speed on this, uh, on this servo. Although I have a Savic servo on the uh, 450, so I can't use this one on that one, but. Yep, you do, and I saw that. And you also have a link to your battery supplier that does not work. I don't know if you ever fixed that. Did you guys ever, uh, Gina, did you ever fix the uh, issue when you go into your gallery, there's no way to get back to your site? Did you ever fix that? If not, tell your old man to get on it. Get on it. Probably isn't good for the servo cable, is it? Tell him to get on it. <laughs> why? Why did your uh, the company that sponsors you with batteries? Why did? Uh... <laughs> he said, "Okay." <laughs> right on, right on. Why did they close their website? Was it funding or what was it? Because I mean, if, if they just if they can't afford a website or a server or something for their website, I'd be more than happy to give up a little bit of my server space to support something like that because they're they're a really good company from what I've read. Can't beat what support, Gina. Gene is awesome. No, it's things like that on websites. There's, it's like my pet peeve, you know, something like that. I'll sit down for hours to try to find out how to fix it, which that one's not actually that hard. You just put up, uh, you put your site into a div and you have, you know what I'm talking, he knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's pretty easy. If you're, if you build a site from scratch, you just use Dreamweaver and use templates. Very easy. Oh yeah, yeah, it's awesome. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I just, I didn't know since they're, I don't know if they're a not-for-profit company or something, but uh, because of what they do, a lot of them, you know, they just, they don't make that much money. So yeah, that's cool, you know, that they're opening up another one. Tungsten, why can I unscrew that ball with my hand? That is no bueno. Do any of these? None of them have nuts on the back of them. What's up with that, Tungsten? You're gonna crash a heli. They are running some big ass cars down at the track this weekend. Weekend? Weekend. Weekend. I need another helicopter, Gina. I got a whole bunch of 450 stuff and nothing to put it in. Suggest one. And I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Oh, 
Oh, you thief! <laughs> the little want just asked. I need an X3. I can't afford an X3. You mean little woman? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Uh, how to hang a camera on a helicopter. Well, it is actually really easy as long as you have a 550 or a 600 because it has a handlebar mount that comes with the cameras. I just happen to have it right here. But it has a handlebar mount. You just mount it to the tail boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, other than that, it's really hard. You know, you gotta make a custom bracket that'll span the skids or something like that. So I guess I'm not in trouble with your old lady anymore. O-L-E, not O-L-D. Just in case you heard me. <laughs> uh, Syndicate is what full HD? Oh, you're talking about my TV. That guy right there? Yeah, it's just a 40... What the hell is it? A 49-inch uh, 1080p smart TV, flat, thin, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Oxy Heli's any good? Oxy's not bad, from what I hear. Never had one. I would like to get an X3. I really would. But if I get an X3, I mean, I'm not going to put stuff like this in an X3. Uh, this would be more like for building another uh, another 450 Align kit. Probably, probably a clone. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, Alright, is she going to ground you again? <laughs> Tell her I said hi. Actually, she probably can see me and hear me, so hi. <laughs> but yes, Syndicate, it is. Um, I've already had to have a new tuner board put in it because after the warranty expired on this TV, they did an update, and something with that update fried the tuner or uh, fried the board inside the TV so they they're actually really nice this is a, it's a Vizio and I've had really good luck with Vizios they sent a technician out here and he replaced the board and it's been working fine ever since so huge props to yeah Vizio huge props to Vizio uh, for just excellent customer support you know and building fantastic products I know, Gina, send me your uh, X3. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, I've got, like I said, this is a 49. I've got my 55 in the living room uh, that we game on. I actually tried to take my laptop out there and do some iRacing out there. That didn't work so well. My laptop does not like that game. And I am not lugging this freaking 70 pound computer out there. No, 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 no. Not, not let me fly. Just send it to me. Just come on, come on. <laughs> you don't want to let me fly anything you have, even your MCPX. Yeah, Samsung 65 curve waiting to be set up. What's the, uh, What's the response time on that? Cause I've thought about getting a, uh, getting like three curved TVs and putting them all around my desk. Just making this huge, oh. No, she won't. I'll crash the crap out of it. If there's one thing I'd do, flying a helicopter, well, that's crashing. Ha, <laughs> 
I need to oil this chair. It's not even supposed to be rocking right now. It's supposed to be locked, but it is that worn out. Let me know. Hell, just send me the box and I'll do another unboxing. It'll only take another month. <laughs> yeah, that's right. RCH and real Dolby surround. What? Why would I do that? <laughs> Not. <laughs> what? A, well, Tungsten, I can promise you. I will promise you that I will do the unboxing video the day I get it. How's that? Well, you should have said something to her earlier, Syndicate, because she was out at torches today. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wasn't even, not even, no punctuation, no capitalization, just, no. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Um, what size are those? Is it this one? Yes, it is. I think these are cross-threaded. And that's not good. Did you have to get on your knees to get to his height? <laughs> First a little bitty guy. Now, Bobby, on the other hand, you might need a step stool. I guess it was just thread lock. So, yeah, thanks to Tungsten, I got all these new parts, new ish, new to me, and I need something to put them in. Because my, the SCV2, well, I've got to rebuild it, and I really do need to rebuild it. But it already has all the electronics. <laughs> now he's only like, what, 5'6 or something? <laughs> he ain't gonna burn her motors. And let me guess, Gina, you didn't even drop an RCH line when you were there with him. Did you? Did ya? I'm rubbing it in. Well, she lives down there with all of them. That's like the place to fly other than over in like Southern California. SoCal. Did you really? What'd they say? I'm actually really curious what they said. What, that jackass? I ain't going over there. <laughs> because he does live streams like this. <laughs> uh oh. Are you serious? That would be freaking awesome. Yeah, you can do that with just about any 450X. Thankfully, we're not saving chat on this one, so I'll let that one slide, Syndicate. That's actually what got me uh, to upgrade my MCPX was I saw a video of Bert and he had the HP05 motor in his and he was just smacking that thing all around. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, we did. Sarah did. She did sign up. 
So Sarah, she hasn't posted yet, but she did sign up. Can't wait to see that helicopter from Sarah. That thing is just awesome. Now what are you gonna do? You're, gonna, you're, you're just gonna get everybody from torches to start bugging me to fly more, aren't you? <laughs> so in for punitive, you ain't gonna get nothing. I know how to solder. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, one of these days I'm going to wake up and everybody's going to be on my front door. You're flying today whether you like it or not. Does anybody have any ideas how... Why did this video get really, really green? That's weird. Anybody have any ideas how I can do a live stream when I do a maiden flight if it's just me? We need to figure that out. I am getting harassed to do more ground pounder videos. Shotgun flying that day. Yeah. Well, I'm doing Facebook or a, a YouTube live on my phone, so I mean they have that. I won't. I probably won't do Facebook live. There's like less than a thousand people on the Facebook page. Um, put the phone on my head. Simple. No, it's not. I don't have a mount. Prop your phone on a. That's a static. No. I tried that whenever I was doing the uh, 150 flights. I tried just tripod and mounting like that headset. Now, I think Jacob needs to come down here and be my cameraman on that one. What do you guys think? I think, yeah, that's a good idea. I don't even know what I said before. You guys threw me off topic. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, ground pounders. I do have people spamming me now about doing ground pounders. They're like really wanting some ground pounder videos. And let's find out how many people kill me. I've got another quad on the way. Sorry. It's an FPV quad. It's basically what I've already built. But now you can buy it all in one piece. And you could kiss my ass. You ever try to take that stuff off a of skin? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get back in to the good graces with Sarah at GearBest. I sort of made her mad. Uh, so I asked her, I said, all right, you got any new products you want me to do? And she's like, the F36, or the F uh, F36S. And I was like, if you're talking about the F36, you've already sent that to me for Christmas, and I've already done a review on that, even though I wasn't asked to. She goes, no, F36S. And so I looked it up, and it's basically the same thing as the F36 and the Eoshin E010, except this one, it has the board already on the quad uh, that we did. It's got uh, clean flight, and it's already got a camera on it. It's already got the upgraded motors and all that. So I figured it'd be kind of fun. Uh, that'll give me three of those quads, and yeah. Exactly. I'm not putting that stuff on my forehead. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Mark, not in my yard. Because my yard front to back or north to south isn't very deep between my house and the trees. 
but I, I got you know kind of a wide area now I could go out over here to the side uh, in the evening where the sun's behind me and I'll, I'd be facing east and yeah I could do that but then I run a very high chance of hitting those freaking fence posts the T posts that are in the ground those are there for a very good reason but that reason isn't here no more I just don't want to go pull them out I love how everybody's adopting that name though <laughs> that's fantastic Maybe, Gina, maybe we should start bugging Bert and Bobby for me to come on to their uh, podcast. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Chicken. Hell no. Fences are magnetic, dude. I know aluminum's non-ferrous. But there is a draw. There is a definite draw. Uh, I am not 100% sure... It just says an F3 flight controller. Uh, flight controller F3 with integrated receiver uh, is all it says. And, of course, I'll be getting the DS, DSM-2 version. They don't have DSM-X. All they got is DSM-2. But it comes with an 800 uh, TV line camera with a 5.8 gigahertz 40 channel 25 milliwatt camera or a transmitter. About a hundred meters on the transmission distance, uh, depending on you know what's in your way. Receive distance about two hundred meters, so not very far. Hmm. Holy crap! I think it'd be cool too. Know about the tape? Kiss my ass. Put a link up. Yeah, Gina, hook it up here. <laughs> Man, they're talking to people like George from Scorpion and just all these top... They don't want to talk to me. I'm just some podunk hillbilly in Oklahoma that I guess somehow got lucky with a website. Uh, let me get a link that will help out RC Help. I mean, it, it looks just like the E010, except it's got uh, white ducks and red fans. Um, let's see, copy that, and then I gotta go here. What? Hint, 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 what? Fishies are asleep. Yes, they're asleep. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see anything. You can see the sump, because the sump light's on. <clears throat> um, let's see, add center, custom link generator, site product, category link, that, link name, uh, F36S. They added a new button, what's up with that? And then... Here, yes, this is what's involved in creating a freaking link that I can post. Make sure it's the right one. All right, guys, here you go. Here you go. Bam. You guys really want to see that tank? And my tank don't stink, and my tank don't leak. Oh, actually, the lights are still kind of on. It's very blue. It's all going down.
So there you go. Holy crap, I'm about to fall over. Why am I getting that quadcopter? Because I need to get back into the good graces with Sarah at GearBest. And in order to do that, I need to go ahead, bite the bullet, do some stuff that I don't want to do, and move on. Banggood, on the other hand, uh, I basically went off on Banggood. And I now have a new contact with Banggood, and they want to do projects instead of uh, like unboxings and uh, review videos. They would rather just do, uh, they'd rather just sponsor a project. Wee. There's a the microphone. And he life icky was obviously worth what Kyle I swear you're drunk dude nah tungsten I like my fish I actually just lost uh, one of my favorite fish which was my blenny and he just died of old age is all he died of but I may get another one they're about 20 bucks I have actually tried to get an Aurora uh, from Banggood and he denied me. I tried getting the ALZRC uh, 380 and he denied me. But then somebody else with only 75 subscribers was just, here, will you do a review on the uh, 420 Goblin uh, clone? So, yeah, me and him had words. And he's like, oh, well, we can do this and that and, you know, we can start you out and, at this tier and then if that tier does good we'll move you up to this tier and then we can go to this tier and i said dude i'm not a rat running a maze i said either you're oh yeah okay uh either you're gonna give me the products that i know my customers or my uh, members want or i'll move on you know I'll, I'll go somewhere else i don't care and so he, he started basically backtracking real good and telling me how you know how he can help and all this so I sent, I just, I just sent an email to his manager, and I said, "You find me somebody else if you want to keep me supplying you a business." Because one thing he said is, "We've given you over seven hundred dollars worth of product," and my response to him was, "Yeah, well, I've given you over five thousand dollars worth of sales." So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Heli Freak was the reason why I created RC Help. Wow. Oh, look at that. It's going to break. It really didn't help any, did it? Yeah, I don't want to know about hickeys. Mm -hmm. Fun when you're a teenager. This kind of goes back to yesterday's video when we were talking about birds and bees. Did you learn anything, Syndicate, yesterday? yesterday? But no, I wanted to try. Uh, she sent it to me, and let me go back into it. Yeah, it's got like, it has no reviews, so it was the absolute perfect opportunity uh, to get the most views possible to try to get them, you know, a return on their investment. But it's still 55 bucks, you know. I mean, come on, 55 bucks for an FPV quad that you can fly inside and torture the crap out of your cat? Yeah, my cat's not safe. That thing will fly under the beds. You're right, it is. You are definitely right about that. Which is, I find it odd that they come out with it now. Because it just came out.
the damn thing's not even in stock. Ships between April 21st and May 1st. RCH OG. <laughs> Let's just find out how much of an OG you really are. So I'm going in here. We're checking out Kyle's, uh, well, basically his profile. And I know when he was born. I know where he lives. He's not one of them that's dumb enough to put their address in here, though. I put uh, I put an address box in there whenever we were doing a giveaway one time, and everybody started posting their address. I'm like, holy crap, i got to get rid of that. You have 2,655 messages. You really need to get to posting, dude. 48 trophy points and 59 likes. Oh yeah, you are central time where you are. Hmm. So yeah, he joined September 5th, 2011 and we launched March 21st, 2011. So yeah, we were six months old when he came along. So you're not an OG. I'm an OG. O o OG, original, yeah. Smart. It looks way worse on my phone than it does on the computer. Y'all post up. Ask some questions. Yeah. You know, there's, there's quite a few of you guys watching right now. So, if you guys have any questions or anything, yeah, let me know. Close enough. Six months. That's half a year, man. Is it me or does that 130 right there look like it's got two legs, a couple arms, and a really long giraffe head? <laughs> oh. That wind today. Yep. Oh, what's the storms doing? CST. Well, hurry up and update. So much for that. Didn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so everything now is in Kansas. And there's no tornadoes. So I've only got 10% battery left on my phone. It was fully charged whenever we started this. Bat door. Your inner geek is showing, Kyle. You, you may want to cover that up. But no, it's it's all about promotion, uh, Chicago, and trying to get better videos for you guys. I know you guys don't want to see these cheap quads, but this this is kind of outside that cheap quad realm because I can use my DX9 on it. I can fly it indoors. I can actually have fun with this one, um, which means I'll fly it on the video when I do the review and then it'll go on the shelf with all the other quads and it'll never be flown again. But it gets me to where we can move into other things. The reason why we have kind of a bad relationship with, with her right now is we tried some new stuff with another channel that I was starting and it absolutely completely 100% flopped and I mean she sent she probably sent about $400 worth of items and it completely flopped so not everything works and that didn't work and that put a really bad taste in her mouth and instead of just stopping that which I, I told him to stop instead of just stopping that then she just kind of wanted to stop everything and I'm like no hold up hold up a second you know we can we can make this right so we're trying to uh, we're trying to work through it 
Is there anything, let me ask you guys this, since I got you guys on here right now, before this battery dies, because it's fixing to die, is there anything on GearBest or Banggood that you guys want to see? Anything. I don't care what, well, yes, I do care what department it's in, but is there anything on GearBest or Banggood, mainly GearBest right now, because I'm still negotiating with Banggood, is there anything you guys want to see? If so, post up, like, quickly. Real quickly. Because I don't think I can intercept this one with my computer. No, I can't. I don't know, let's try something. Let me go ahead and... Why is that showing? That's weird. Well, see, the, the charger's like way over there. And, man, it's like exercise and stuff and... No. I am going to see if I can do something real quick, though. Um, well, crap. I don't have a deal. Broadcast alerts. No, I only did that one once. Tungsten, I tried. Uh... I don't want to do one of the Goblin clones from uh, GearBest because they are like ridiculously expensive over there. Let's see, ALZ, RC. I think it only comes up with two things. One's a quad, and then you got this one. Um, let me find out what it comes with. It's got a nice canopy. I do like the canopy. I love the black and red. That's not how that goes. It does come with a uh, quick release, so that's a bonus. Re re embossing. <laughs> Negative. Cafago? What the hell is Cafago? Yeah, this is just the helicopter, just the kit, like the like that kit came, just the kit, and it's three hundred and twenty-one dollars and thirty cents. I don't think she'll go for that one. Not not this soon. Pretty much, yeah. Yep, black and red. I do need to find my other iPhone cable. I think it's in my wife's car, but she has no use for an iPhone cable. Out of Germany. Do you know someone over there? I'm seriously going to die. I guess I'm going to have to take the long journey to the other side of the room. <sighs> so hard. This so sucks. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, I had to bend down. Are you kidding me? Do, 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 do. No, not yet. Well, if you don't know anybody, why you suggest it? Oh crap, I just ran over my cable with my chair. Hang on, hang on, y'all sit right there. The cable will probably never work again. No, nope, you get unplugged.
Did Tungsten make a plain boxing video to watch? What? I don't know. I think I lost about 30 pounds. That was a long way to go. What? No. We're doing stuff and things here right now. Be my Dobie. Device setup complete. Device Apple iPhone has completed setup. Like I said, brand new computer or brand new hard drive. Well, SSD, not a hard drive. Uh, oh, did Tungsten to make a plain boxing video? No, he never took it out of the box. That thing has been in the box since the 80s. Yeah, you want to come meet him, Kyle? He loves drunk, skinny people. Okay. Something just went down on the side. Okay. Time to deal with issues. And then I get to clean up a uh, forum thread. Let's see what he says about that. You always gotta talk people down. Get with me after the live stream, Jacob, and I'll explain it to you. It's not something that needs to go out on here, but it's something that I had to take care of uh, pretty quick.
Yeah, I apologize about that, guys. Uh, like I said, it was just it was something that I, I really needed to take care of. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe it'd be best to go ahead and let this dude go. I hate losing a member, but. He's got six messages, yeah. Yes? What do you mean dropping the hammer? Uh, Mark, for a thousand dollars, you can get a lot. Uh, seriously, you can, you can get a lot. So, um... I mean, it depends on what you're wanting. Are you wanting a monster truck, a crawler, on road, some kind of buggy, a truggy? It, I mean, the, the world. Yeah, if you got a thousand bucks to spend, go to a hobby shop and have a blast. Uh, stay away from Traxxas. Short course trucks. <laughs> then twelve scale, ten scale, eight scale, fifth scale, quarter scale. So yeah, holy crap, there's still eight people watching. I like went completely silent while I had to deal with something on the forum and there's still eight people. Nine, holy crap, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, there's 10. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. What are y'all guys doing? Oh, Wicked Clowns here, what's up, man? How you feeling, brother, man? How, how uh, yeah. You guys, you ever get that medical issue uh, taken care of? Cause that was that was some scary crap, dude. We're just kind of chilling out here, man. I already did the unboxing. Showed off Murphy. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, Mark, that's like huge. You kind of need to figure out what exactly you want. <laughs> um, what are you into? You know, what, what have you done? What, like, have you raced before? If so, what'd you race? Uh, Nitro Electric? What, what are you into, uh, Mark? Constant harassment, but yeah. I know what you're into, Kyle. Unfortunately. I do. Need to put new batteries in this thing because they just died. A 6S2, I'm guessing that's a 250 quad. Because if you're putting 6S on a 250 a line, holy crap. <laughs> oh, I can't unplug that. A ZMR, yeah. I actually have a ZMR250. Uh, that was one of the first quads I ever built. And then I've got the Google RC uh, 210. That little thing's a blast. Three blade props. And I'm only flying on 3S. Yeah, I believe that. At least, hard to find 6S motors that are that small. That'll fit on, uh, fit on those arms. Hang on just a second, guys. I gotta go get new batteries. <laughs> that damn trek again.
Da 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 da. <clears throat> uh, Kyle, not a heli. Or are you talking about the line 250? And yes, that would be. Uh, negative. I do hope you're asking WC. I still want to know how that whole medical thing went, man. Like I said, my dad died of that. So did my uncle. Jacob, like that shirt? How do I get a hold of one? You come to my house with a shirt and we make it. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. This is actually my newest one. It's got, yeah, it's got RC help right there. Nothing on the left sleeve. It's extremely worn out. FPV screen versus immersion goggles. Goggles. Yeah, yeah, very lucky, bro. Very lucky. That's that's not some shit to be playing around with right there. I mean, straight up. What, did they tell you what was causing it? I mean, do you have like a protein C deficiency or something? No, your fingers are butchering your words, Kyle. I thought it was in your leg. If you're coughing up blood, that's that's a pulmonary embolism. I probably do have lung cancer. What's it been? 25 years I've been smoking? No, no. Uh, let's see. She wants it in teal. Well, she's going to have to buy the teal fabric to do it. <laughs> I got some words for her, but I'm already in trouble enough with the old lady. Oh, oh, Ellie. Oh, Ellie. So I'm not going to say it. But, okay. Uh, why am I not selling these shirts? Because keeping stock sucks you're basically just sitting on all of that money 35 years yeah I started smoking when I was really young now using three cig or E cig because I've yeah I've ate my butt off <clears throat> and I can't show you the other side but that's my favorite mech mod yeah no, no, don't stick to that. Damn you. Well, you probably shouldn't smoke weed, but yeah. Doctor's orders? Copy that. It's a lot better than other stuff that's out there, you know. And there has kind of been some healing effects coming from it. So, uh, whoa, that sucks. Valley fever. Mm. I don't know exactly what that is, but I've kind of heard about that. And from what I've heard, it sucks. I, we, we, okay, change the subject. We're, we're on cancer and that's like a downer, kind of like pot. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, with the, uh, yeah. Holy crap, that was a long time ago. Yep, the ALZRC go uh, Goblin clone is 178 with free shipping on... To, 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 to. The complete kit is 346 That's actually a really good price on a complete kit. Whoa, I just scrolled way too far. 
No, no, WC, he knows exactly how I work. Uh, I start reading other people's stuff, and I'll miss something, because he posted that, I believe, when I went over and got my batteries, or I was putting my batteries in or something. And, yeah. You're going to get a goblin clone? Why? Just get a goblin. His name's Troll. Here, I'll get it down. Even though it's got a hanging satellite. So yeah, this is Troll. Everybody, me Troll. I hate these. I absolutely hate them. I hate them with a passion. I do not like them. They will not stay on. So yeah. And then of course, see, it's brand new. It still has its umbilical cord. <laughs> uh, let's see and calling it G why G yeah WC we uh, we named this helicopter last night um, basically it's a goblin and I was asking how to what to name it in the in the radio and so everybody said gobby and I'm like well I may get another goblin so gobby 380 and they're like, well, a goblin is kind of like a troll. And you've, you know, we've been kind of trolling YouTube with this thing, so call it troll. Yeah, tungsten gremlin, you know, gremlin troll, yeah. So yeah, this is troll. Not a bad little, not a bad little helicopter, I will say that. What? You like gremlin? Yeah, well, his name is troll. It's already been settled upon. Uh, troll food. What? Baby G. Yeah, but... I guess both of them could be G, couldn't they? Yeah. Well, see, that's, that's one thing. I don't really like clones, but in the business that I'm in, I need to keep up with clones because everybody's going to need help with clones. So the more clones that I can build and actually work with, the better off the website is, you know what I mean? That guy never did get back to me on that issue he was having. So, we'll just see how that one goes. I'll be right back. I gotta put troll up. Let's see. Well, there you go. But yeah. No, we're trying to get that one done. Uh, I could have already had uh, the goblin in the air, but I'm wanting to do everything on video, and now we're kind of up to 3,000 videos. Holy crap. That's a lot of freaking videos, dude. <laughs> but if I keep going the way I'm going, uh, this is what, day two or three straight of live streams. Um, hell, I'm gonna be up there pretty soon. I don't even know how many videos I have. I, I kind of just quit paying attention. Let's see. Yeah, see, I've only got 355 videos. I'm a rookie. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm going to do everything uh, on like a live stream or stuff like that. I did the first uh, original build on that guy. Um, that's true. That is true. But I did the original build in one day. I just, I built the entire thing and I separated it into six different videos. And it didn't go over as well as I thought it should have. So now we're just, we're building it on live stream. And we'll see how it goes, you know. But yeah, that is, that is one thing that is uh, killing RC help right now is we, I just, I flat don't have time to shoot all these videos. And now it's getting hot outside. Uh, since they cut the pole, the power poles down last year, 
and put up this new pole, all the wasps had to find a new freaking home. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's bad. What the hell is that word you just said, Tungsten? Oh, I think you meant quantity. Well, you're a hell of a lot more lucky than I am. Way more lucky. I think you should share the love. Yeah, he meant quantity. I know what he meant. Trust me, I've read, Kyle, I've read your stuff enough that I can read through all that. Yeah, share the love, brother man. Share the love. You see, look at this, look at this. I've got all, well, if I kick his ass out of the way, I've got all this extra space that I need to put some helicopters on. Yeah, well, wicked needs to send, send their people my way. I type blind all the time. I never look at my keyboard. I'm glad you can, Mark. I can't even pronounce that. I speak two languages, English and bad English, and I don't speak whatever the hell that was. Uh, so yeah, I guess he ain't gonna get back to me, so whatever. I will just move his thread into a part of the forum that nobody can see but me and one other person. Where the hell is it? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, right there. There it is. Okay, do not leave. And no, no. And go ahead and move it. What was Redneck? Oh yeah, blame it on spell check. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many times Mark had to look up at uh, Tungsten's original post. Was it? No, it wasn't Tungsten. Was it? Tungsten? I can't remember. Yeah, I wonder how many times Mark had to look up at Tungsten's post to actually spell that the way it did. The language I know. Oh, well, yeah. You can't be, you can't really be a redneck in Arizona. My ass. Type correctly. <laughs> You're funny. Let's see. Is double sided three and the only thing holding my icons in place? Yes. It is. Now, whenever I replace the, uh, like on the 600, I've got it somewhere. I do. I know I do. Mm. I use this stuff, which is a, it's kind of a clear, uh, where are you guys at? It's kind of a clear gel tape. Uh, kind of like zeal tape but that's what I have on the 600 and if I ever have to replace it on the goblin like if I get a little bit too much vibration with the uh, double-sided tape that I have on it then I'll put this stuff on it which helps absorb uh, it absorbs the vibrations a lot better why do you ask mark uh, getting tired it's like really dark up here and light down here. Oh, South Carolina. Okay, that, that done did it for you right there. I've been to South Carolina and I ain't nowhere near redneck compared to them folk. Mm -mm. Although South Carolina is not as bad as West Virginia. I, I will give it that. Let's 
Let's see what Stambo said on this. Like I said, I was helping this guy on YouTube for a long time. And I just, I don't know enough about his transmitter. Outside my house. Uh, he has the Turnigy or TGY I6S. Pretty sure. Be right back. Something froze. What? No oh, video froze. Uh, that was probably me just not moving. There's a there's a thread on it uh, on the forum. It is titled SP Racing F3 Board in the Flight Controller Forum. Is the zip tie transferring uh, vibration? Do you have fuel tubing on your zip tie? Because if you use uh, thick, yeah, if you use that uh, thick clear tape, double it up, use a zip tie with the uh, fuel tubing. There's actually a name for it, but there's a lot of people that hold their uh, gyros like that. But as long, I mean, if you can balance your blades, make sure your head's balanced, make sure your tail blades are balanced, and there's not like chunks missing out of your main gear or something you're not missing a magnet in your motor or something like that, then you shouldn't have enough vibration to really bother it. The icons are really good at absorbing, uh, absorbing, uh, absorbing vibrations. Uh, I have one strip of this tape and it's probably an eighth inch thick. Uh, I have one strip of that tape on the 600 and I have no issues with the, uh, with the gyro. His motors weren't spinning Chicago. Stambo's in there asking for some more information and I'm kind of curious of what the guy comes back with because it's stuff I forgot to ask. I'm not... I know way more about helicopters than I do about quads even though I've done all these freaking quad videos here lately. What's debatable, Kyle? <sighs> I just now saw that. Anyway, uh, yeah, Jacob, uh, if you're still on here, we'll talk about uh, the email that I received and uh, the shirts. So just remind me. Hit me up in chat or call me. Hell, just call me. Uh, switch Army. I think he tried moving the motors in the motor tab, uh, but he still couldn't even get them to move in there. We there, you're more redneck than uh, South Carolina. Okay, what you just said is more redneck than South Carolina. Um. <laughs> I use that to balance my blades, seriously. You know, you can weigh the blades, you can try to get the center of gravity correct and all of that. Uh, balance them with one of these, because if, if they balance on here, then the moment of force is correct and it'll balance on the helicopter. Well, Chicago, get your butt over to the form and tell them that. What just happened here? I don't know what bearings came out. Weather, 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 what? Oh, I said we there. Okay. Tell him to come in here. I don't think he's online right now. 
Uh, let's see, that was... It's the member named Craig. Come on, Craig, man. Stimulate your mind, man. No, nah, he's not online. He hasn't been online for a while. I'm not more redneck than South Carolina. Or, yeah, South Carolina. Hell, North Carolina's bad enough. Anytime you had the word South in your name, it's bad. Okay, South Dakota doesn't count. So yeah, there's that. Mm. tell you what Stambo's on it when it comes uh, to this quad stuff that dude he knows just about everything ceramic bearing upgrade overkill what are you trying to achieve you know if you're trying to achieve absolute max power and all that then no because I ran ceramic bearings when I was racing because they were the smoothest bearings they had the le least amount of rolling resistance uh, helicopters and quads that I don't race yeah it's overkill in my opinion I can see that tungsten yeah you fools realize it's a quarter to eleven here Tired. I shouldn't be tired. <sighs> Petition regarding the bill for slower speed limits for trucks. No. Just need smarter freaking drivers out there on the road and four wheelers. Did we? This is real funny, check it out. <laughs> Getting down tonight with some coke and some, and, a and some strippers. And stripper. Holy crap, yes. I need to go to bed. This has been going on entirely too long. Stand them freaking birds. Uh, no, it's not. Almost six hours. That's the longest. Why do you have them? Seriously. Trust me, people will take them. I appreciate that. I think it's fantastic. and that's, that's why I love doing these live streams is the interaction. Except when I do them early in the day and no freaking buddies on here. <laughs> B 
B-O-U-G-H-T. Bot. Right? No. Hell, I don't know. I'm too tired. Yeah, I probably should have pulled the gubby down. Troll. I did a lot of work on that in uh, last night's live stream. And that one was right at about five hours. Yeah, five hours, six minutes and 49 seconds. And then the one, the live stream before that was only six minutes and 39 seconds. Why are you guys crooked? Uh, because I thought I had more time. Um, but a storm just kind of formed and it absolutely killed my internet. And then before that was five hours and 50 minutes. Usually I try to keep it below two hours, but it is what it is. As long as you guys keep me going, I'm gonna keep going. <clears throat> Golf ball sized hail and drumming. I really hate the news. They just put uh, suicide prevention nets on the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm thinking natural selection. What about you guys? Oh yeah. Yeah, market asks, any destroyed maiden flights? Uh, went from three channel to six channel and flew for 20 seconds and destroyed it. We've all been there, man. Every single one of us have been there. And I mean, you could be, hell, you could be Gina and you could miss one little thing that's gonna cause that helicopter to come down. You know, it, it's just part of the hobby, I guess. I can't hear any of it, Tungsten. Um, now are you, is that uh, pitch or throttle? Quite honestly, uh, what ESC are you running? Let me let me just ask that first. What ESC are you are you running on that 500? Looks like we're going to get some really good thunderstorms coming uh, next Friday. What was that, Tungsten? And the water guns come out? Okay. I don't even want to know, dude. Don't even want to know. Okay, so it's, it's the Align uh, ESC. So that means you have a really good slow spool up. So what I would do in normal mode is I would do a zero and then straight to 75 and then straight line to 75 uh, all the way over. And the reason for that is when you have a throttle curve, let's just say a linear throttle curve. When you have a linear throttle curve and a linear pitch curve, not only whenever you raise the throttle are you increasing the pitch which increases the drag it also adds power to it which makes the tail move even more it just it makes the tail work harder so if you can put a uh, a flat throttle curve on there then 
you'll the tail won't have to work near as hard uh, to keep that thing stable. So do zero, 75, 75, 75, 75, and uh, give that a shot. It should be a lot more stable for you because it won't have that jumping up and down. It's funny, it came up on my phone but didn't come up on my iPad. My iPad's being really weird. Yeah, give that a try. That's, I mean, that's what I use in everything. I don't have it for the Goblin yet, but I haven't gotten that far. Uh, but everything else, like the Nitro, the Nitro is uh, straight curves because of the governor. You know, I have uh, three different governors on it for uh, normal, idle one and idle two. But I do have a zero throttle where it'll idle and not spool up. And then once I get over the what would that be? 25% or 15% no, stick? Uh, it'll go ahead and kick in the governor and start spooling up. Which on a nitro can be bad because they like to load up. They like to load up really bad. What the? Uh, stop. I don't like what Facebook has done with their site. How many people we still got watching? 10. Holy crap. Yo, you guys have been awesome. Hit that like button. Come on. Come on. Everybody. Everybody that's watching right now, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. Do it. Come on. You know you want to. That was really weird. I just watched myself do that, and my hands were like bleach white because the camera on this phone sucks. What do you guys think about this, the, the whole doing this on iPhone? I know you hit it. Why are you still here? Holy crap. You would never sleep, do you? Poor girl. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Jacob, you like everything. And I like that you like everything. It's awesome. I don't even know how long this has been going. Four hours? Yeah. Well, it's midnight where you are. See, I can't do that. It's, it's eight hours or nothing for me. Not even nine. You must be in California. Or, well, West Coast. Pacific. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. I don't know what it is. These, these live streams have gotten California. Yeah, we're at in California. Are you in Southern California? Where it's just like, <coughs> or are you in Northern California where it's actually quite beautiful? How do nitro helicopters keep fuel flowing in all orientations? They have a clunk. It is basically a piece of fuel line inside the fuel tank that has a weight on the end and it just falls to gravity. Yeah, if you're gonna be flying, you, you do need to get to bed. Yeah, better safe than sorry. I know, I know, I'm trying. Hey, I'm building that bird. I am, and I will fly that bird. Oh, right on. Northern, yeah. So you're up there in the mountains. Mountains. I don't like header tanks. 
they kind of header tanks are weird you know it for years there was no no such thing as a header tank and then somebody strapped a small tank on the outside of their big tank and everybody took off with it and then it died back and nobody did it for a few years and now header tanks are starting to make a comeback I, I, mm. yeah it's weird I know right I've only been doing it for I don't know what nine months now Hopefully I can get Jacob down here and we're, we'll uh, we'll do some real good flying for you guys. Well, not real good flying, but we'll be do flying for you guys. Foggy. Nothing else? That's all I do is practice. <clears throat> all right. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I want to talk about tonight. I've already given away some of the videos that are coming up. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, and what's going to be going on. And, yeah. I need a 32 gigabyte card because one of these freaking cameras... Whenever you get off work one night. Hell, you, you work like 10 minutes away, dude. Elotes for everyone? What the hell language is that? Oh, let, let me guess. Let me guess. Damn spell check. <laughs> Dream about nitro smoke. <laughs> Well, Gina, I really appreciate you coming in. It's always a pleasure. Always. Corn. Are we just like posting random words now? Maybe you should put some ketchup on it. Gina, have your connection. Send me a gallon of fuel. I need to get down to Dallas and get me a, another gallon. Let's see, I can run two. Uh, you can, but I would quite honestly just invest in a 3300 uh, milliamp 6S pack. Uh, it's a lot easier, seriously. Mexican corn. Okay. No, I, live, I, I do live in America. So it's corn or maize. Either one. Is she really? I didn't know that. Why is it when I press 1 for English, I still can't understand the person on the other side, other side of the phone? Anybody know? Good night, Gina. You have a great night. And a better one tomorrow. And I know you will. Oh, Syndicate pops back up. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, uh, 2200 milliamp is... It's not quite enough for a 500. Uh, you really need at least 3000. Can you... Now, can you run two 2200s? Yes, you can. You know, 2200s, at least 35C... Uh, wire them in series, you can do it, but you're only going to get like four minute flight times. I don't know if that'll work because this camera doesn't read EX FAT formats. I, I don't, that's actually, I may have to try that and see if that'll work. I'm still really pissed that that one 64 gig card that is like so freaking expensive uh 
I, I, I'm still mad that, yeah, it just, it flat burn up and I can't, can't use it. It's not recognized. <laughs> That sounds like a night on the toilet. Ugh. A bad, 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 bad night on the toilet. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Jacob? Thumbs up for the random joke? <laughs> I did try some heat, but I do think that I need to cut, go up to like 350 for about a minute and a half and see what that does. But I don't, I don't think it, it's a, I don't think it's anything that's separated. I think what happened is whenever, whenever the uh, runner 250 crashed, it crashed inverted, and when the runner 250 goes inverted, it can't bring itself back over. It's like it knows what upright is, but if you flip it completely over, it thinks that's upright, but it still, it, it, it powered itself into the ground, squashing the Mobius, breaking one of the something or others on the board, uh, R2R was the number on it, and I think it sent a voltage spike through the card. So I'm kind of thinking that it just completely burn it out but I may try that um, no, I don't even know where the thing went now yeah that little guy and that freaking thing is not cheap paid dearly for that damn thing What is it with this one? Everybody's talking about weed in this live stream. <clears throat> oh, I'm not. I'm not bad mouthing it. I'm not bad mouthing it. I'm just. Yeah, this one. This is just like a weird live stream. Everybody's talking about pot. The only way I'll ever touch is if, if they actually legalize it on a federal level. That's the only way I can. But if they don't legalize it on a federal level, then I'll never touch it again. Oh yeah, I know. Right, Mark? Yeah, 64 gigs. Right there. And yeah. Uh, not for that card. This is a gold card. I did get it on sale. I did not pay full price for it. I don't remember what I paid for it. Uh, Chicago tried it. Didn't work. I have tried different card readers uh, in my desktop. I've tried the built-in card reader in my laptop, and every single one of them says, uh, crap, it's not showing up now. Where is my card reader? I got it around there somewhere. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Find out what this thing says. Let's see, plug you in right here. Dink, dink, dink. Hey, you guys fell. You guys are crooked. It's a damn charge cable. 
Yeah, I mean, I've I've went into uh, Mister Sideways. Go get it checked. What am I going to get checked? Probably a lot, but. Oh, no worries, no worries. Ask all the questions you can, man. If I can't answer it, I'm sure there's somebody here that can. And if there's nobody in here that can, there's definitely somebody on the forum that can help you out. Oh, yeah, I, 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 it's not the laptop, it's the memory card. I'm pretty sure it's fried. And yeah, see, it's not even showing up now. But I've tried device manager to see if I could go in there and kind of force it. Uh, I went into check disk. I've tried redoing partitions. I've tried formatting volumes, and it's yeah, absolutely nothing works. And yeah, it's just showing USB drive uh, flat. Let's see. Let's go into uh, device manager. Crap! I already had that open. I didn't want to go into device manager. I wanted to go into manage. Yeah, basically, uh, the card was in a Mobius, and the Runner 250, it, pl it powered itself into the ground inverted, and it squashed the Mobius, which squashed uh, one of the little coils inside, and I think it sent a uh, voltage spike to the card, because it hasn't worked since that. I was recording that flight, and it would have been an awesome, awesome video, because I took that right FPV, and it was you know, pretty fun. Yeah, see, I just clicked on disk management, and it's taking forever to boot up, and it's going to bitch about that uh, D drive. Let's see. Yep, see, it says uh, no media. And then, let's see, CMD, and we are going to run that as administrator. And let's see. Yes, I know. I put in the wrong freaking command. I put in check disk instead of... Uh, way too tired. You kind of miss the drag strip. I know, man. You know, it, it's awesome being next to it, and you get kind of tired of it after a while, but then you kind of miss it. Yeah, they are getting it. Let's see. CMD... Run as administrator. <laughs> Damn it. Disk part. There we go. List. Disk. Alright. Select disk. Six. Uh, list. Volume. So there's that one. Select. Volume. Ten right yes last thing I want to do is try to screw something up on another disk uh, let's see let's just do a format command the volume is not formatable yeah yeah <laughs> <coughs> let's see there, there it goes again I mean it's awesome Mark there it goes again. <laughs> Let's see. On my line 450, I've got about 100 fast sport style flights on it, but now I've noticed my blade tracking is off a hair. I can see it as before. It was spot on what gives. Eh, it could be some movement in the blades. It could be everything finally seated in with your ball links and stuff like that. Um... If it's only, I mean, if your blade tracking is only off like that much, it's not something to worry about because you have to go full turns on the align uh, ball links. So, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it could just be something given in, you know, uh, the sun. The sun could have, you know, maybe warped the blades a little bit or something. Or There's no telling. It's hard to get one that's got absolute perfect uh, blade alignment. Yeah, 
right, so that one is a no-go. I do have other card readers to, I, I, yeah. I'm gonna keep trying, because I, I absolutely cannot throw this card away. I just, I can't do it. Hell, I still have platters from an old uh, laptop hard drive that I can't throw away, because there's good stuff on it. It's not that good stuff, but there's good stuff on it. But I know I will never recover it because it is a dual platter hard drive and they are no longer aligned. So it's pretty much impossible to get that uh, data back off of it. So yeah, let's see. This disc. Select this six. Don't do that. And there are no partitions. Yep, I didn't think so. So yeah, holy crap, there's 70 of you guys on here still. Really? We're just having a good time. So what's going on with the Team X? It's funny, because Jacob just asked that not too long ago. Uh, I need to get my butt to Oklahoma City to the owner's house and get the part that I need to put on the engine. And then I need to find all the parts to put it back together. You been watching Street Outlaws? Bunch of fakes is what they are. <laughs> I, I've never hated it. I've always loved it. Uh, it's kind of, whenever they bring the big cars out when I'm trying to do a live stream, it's kind of annoying, but yeah. You're back now? Do you have to give the, the birds a good soaking? Let's see. Do I have any large heli with tail motor? No, I do not. The biggest helicopter that I have with a tail motor? Right there. Nah, Street Outlaws, you know, 1320 and all that. Uh, they're here in Oklahoma City. And, yeah, I just, nobody, I do not condone street racing whatsoever. I just, no. You know, I did it when I was a teenager. It was stupid. I lost friends. And, hell, you know, if I didn't, if they didn't, if I didn't lose them from them dying, I lost them because they went to jail. It's, it's stupid. But these guys, they don't even street race. You know, they are shutting down streets to street race it's just man, not yet <laughs> all right i guess i can close out all this because yeah it's not going to show anything basically it's not even showing that the card is in the uh, card reader so it's unfortunate now they do sell a little a little deal and there's a way that you can sand the back of these and get to the little bitty traces and the little bitty wires and actually power it from this little board and you know solder on wires and stuff like that and recover data that way I may have to order that board just to give it a shot you know what's no harm no foul if I release the rest of the magic smoke that's in it They're getting it down there. But nah, Jacob. Hell, get off work one of these days and come on down here. 30 seconds in the microwave will fix it. Uh, if I want to completely destroy it. In my mind, there's still a chance. Right now, there is still a chance of recovering the videos that are on that card. And possibly recovering the card. But, I'm, yeah, that's probably not going to happen. I'll put it in the microwave, and that's pretty much a death sentence. I am going to put it in my toaster oven, though. 350 for about a minute and a half. 
Maybe it did pop a trace. Maybe I can try to get it put back together. I don't know. I can get some 2,000 sandpaper. The problem is that roughed up area up at the top, that's raised. So sanding it down to the traces is going to be really, really hard. I tried, dude, Jacob, I tried to get my wife to do that like two days ago. <laughs> we were making tuna salad. We were fixing to boil eggs. I said, hey, you ought to cook them on defrost in the, in the microwave for about three minutes. <laughs> you know, put it on a lower power so they don't blow up. Yeah. 45 seconds for video recovery. Yeah, right, Mark. So, Jacob, how pissed was your mom when she came home and smelt that? you guys watching holy crap there's 10 of you guys on here now wow you guys are awesome how many of you guys shop on amazon seriously just post up in the chat and let me know how many of you guys shop on amazon well here's a sandisk ultra uh it's a class one not much anymore it's only thirteen twenty-seven. You use flea bay. Why? Any other builds in progress? No. Tungsten occasionally, Mr. Sideways, yes. Okay. Right on. <clears throat> I was wondering, because in the description of this video, uh there's a link. That if you guys could change your Amazon bookmark to that link, you will like tremendously help us out and not spend a dime more than what you're spending now. Oh, you got the F4 from Amazon? Awesome. You should have used our affiliate link. Come on, man. We're trying to get more revenue coming in so that we can get more stuff going out is what we're trying to do. Right on. I just told you about it? What did I just told you about? No. Oh. Syndicate. I can understand why because you're not here and I don't know how Amazon is in the Middle East you're old school <laughs> I will say this uh, even I rarely shop on Amazon what I do is I'll just I'll compare prices between all the different places and in fact uh, my G29 the wheel that I use to race with uh, I went to Amazon and checked it out it was like 400 bucks and I went to or not 400 300 I don't know something like that anyway i went to ebay i checked it there i went to new egg checked it there and finally i come across a website that i never heard of called jet.com j-e-t jet.com and they had the cheapest price on that wheel i never ordered from them. i was real skeptical but it went through paypal so i was protected so i went ahead and ordered it and when i got it in it came from new egg new egg's price couldn't even beat jet which ordered from New Egg. That, it's weird. But yeah, I shop around big time. Awesome. Have I ever seen a Nitro Sport SE? What do you mean? Like 450 helicopter? Uh, 
But yeah, basically what Jet does is they've got accounts with all these big name companies, uh, Walmart, Target, Newegg, blah, blah, blah. And they just get really good prices on stuff. I am not affiliated with Jet. I probably should be, shouldn't I? Yeah. But no, helping us out on Amazon, that would like, that would be fantastic. We're thinking about starting up kind of a little uh, store type thing uh, with Amazon, but with very particular sellers and very particular products. Everything, huh? I don't think I have. <laughs> Didn't seem sad until you typed it. <laughs> oh, trust me. You know, I'll go through Newegg and I'll build, you know, multiple computers. In fact, I think I actually still have a saved computer in Newegg if it's still there. Let's see, my account. Uh, maybe, no, it'll be in the cart. <coughs> Verify your student email. It didn't go. Four hundred and eighty bucks for this freaking hard drive that I have on my computer right now. That guy that sent it to me is like absolutely awesome. Could have swore they had a wish list. Oh, this is one I was going to build for my stepdad. You know, just one. Surf the web, whatever. AMD, this is the new stuff that was out there. AMD Athlon 64 X2 5000 Brisbane Dual Core 2.6 Socket AM2. Hmm, holy crap. <laughs> Microsoft Windows Vista. <laughs> yeah. The only thing in this entire... I mean, I went from case to motherboard to processor, memory, hard drive. Everything's in here. The only thing still in stock is the Arctic Silver 5 thermal compound. Uh, what was all that? Let's see. Uh, Mr. Sideways, what did you mean by like what? Where can I get a carbon fiber printed plastic canopy? I have no idea. How does PayPal protect payments? Uh, buyer protection. It's just something they have. This is Sabertooth. I got the Rampage 3 formula uh, in my computer right now. No, you can't hear the announcer. You can hear uh, my daughters in the living room, like, watching a movie. I use eBay. Don't like eBay. Guys, I gotta get something to drink, because during this whole thing I have not had a drink, so I am thirsty. I am hungry, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. Uh, probably for, oh, okay. It's, uh, products are going to be like very select, uh, helicopters, planes, parts, maybe chargers, batteries, you know, stuff like that. Uh, stuff that, in my opinion, would do, do people right. Instead of them having to search for it, I can have the whole list, uh, ready for them. And then it can also help us out. Uh, is hydro dipping a canopy a DOI thing? Uh... Yeah. 
I don't see why it wouldn't work. And you know, the the biggest problem would be getting the, the lap at the uh, bottom of the canopy to uh, go over right. Because if you go straight down, it's just gonna crease on you. But yeah, basically just getting a list together, like if you're gonna build a 450 Pro Align, uh, get the Align kit and all the servos. And if, well, if you can get it cheaper then you can get a super combo, which is highly doubtful. But then the batteries, the radio, stuff like that, so. Well guys, I'm gonna get off here because I got people interrupting me now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would be cool. <laughs> found him used. That's where I found him. <laughs> Yeah, you aren't going to find them new. So, yeah, I'm going to get something to eat, guys. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Been awesome. 248 minutes. It's been a while. <laughs> guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. It really does help us. Uh, links in the description to the Amazon affiliate code. Uh, all you got to do is just change your bookmark. And then, whenever you go to Amazon, you don't have to put anything in. So, it will help us out and it'll bring better videos to you guys. So, Cannot thank you guys enough. See you guys on the next live stream.